everybody good morning or good afternoon or good evening depending on what time it is for you where you are welcome back to a this is only like a third full welcome back to a world of warcraft dragonflight stream because we are finished playing world of warcraft Blunderstorm. i'm renowned for it and there's really nothing else to do there i want to turn on can i or not can i mog it craft seem real quick to check to see i'm logging on my evoker for reasons that will soon reveal themselves and I want to real quick take a look and see if the, um, I want to see if it's profitable for me to transmute. Because I haven't transmuted it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So if we were going to do that, can I track that and then maybe pull open the auction house and search it? We need 10 of these. So 500 gem dust, if I have 300, we need about 170 or so. Maybe like that many. And then we're talking like 3k, 2800 glow scores, something like that. Ish. You know, assuming no multi, 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 multi resourcefulness proc, something along those lines. I haven't crafted anything in a while. Yay, Cracker, thank you very much for the brand new 41 month reset. <laughs> Not brand new, but 41 months. Thank you so much. Long time no see. Super squirt day day. Oh, love the hair. Oh, thank you. I felt, um, I, I was, I, they were behaving this morning. <laughs> so I've decided to let them out of jail for a day. Or for a stream. Let's go see. Um, also, my evoker is still wearing the finest, the finest of transmogs that the Love Witch set. And the, well, the, the shop Love Witch set. And then the, uh, the wings could, could come up with. What up, friendly? Thank you very much for the 46 month resub. Are you going to do a stream group for the rep? I'm gonna try and join a group. Um, if there are no groups, I will create a group, I think is my hierarchy of operations. And the reason I'm on my evoker is because she's medium rep with them. She's a little ways into medium, which isn't as far as you would think. You see the three of five and you go, wow, that's quite far. But then when I was looking at, let me pull it up again for you. When I was looking at the WoW head guide, these are the actual amounts of rep required for the various ranks. So medium is really only like 1200 and a little bit in. Um, the vast majority of the rep is kind of after that. But I also still don't want to do 1200 rep again if I was just started all over again in my priest. This does mean that I'm not going to have as much gear because my evoker is a tier behind. She has not played any of Mirdrasil. I've been retired from pre evoker this tier, so she doesn't have... She has gear, she just doesn't have modern gear, I should say. Um, she's item level 444 with uh, with her season 2 gear. She does have a beacon. But if we can- oh no! Oh. Oh. Let's see, where do we get- I, I, I knocked my straw out of my coffee and then I spilled a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna have to wash some stuff later. I was keeping my office so clean! Hi kitty cat. Don't drink any coffee. <laughs> you don't need it. Neither you nor Moose need coffee. Uh, how you doing? Macaroni, thank you for the three month reset. The longer you farm, the faster it goes. The powers are absolutely bonkers. Mm. Yeah, I was reading that it shouldn't be too crazy. So I figure the move is just to go out there, try to get into a group, and then get a feel, get a feel for it and just have at it. Because that is the main thing that I need. Oh, kitty, you good? You good? Sorry, I didn't do my I didn't do my safety hand. That is the main thing that I need rep-wise. If we look at the World Awoken achievement, which is our meta achievement, of course, and we look at... Oh my god, they were clutch mates, which is a reference to something that's going right over my head. That's the last one I need. I have full rep with everything else um, on some character or another, so... Cobalt Assembly Ho. I imagine that we can take a fast travel there. Wouldn't do it till it has an elemental storm, adds more mobs. Oh, but I wanted to do it today. <laughs> I don't know if it has a storm today. I also, um, given that I, I don't know how long the storms last, but I, I want to do this on stream. Oh, I don't know how long that would take. Plunderstorm cash if you want a piece of current gear. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I could totally, totally do that. I wonder if I could just buy that of this character without even having to mail it. Let me, I, I would assume so. It's not like my priest is linked in any meaningful way to my Plunderstorm character. I mean, she did loot the um, the 15 coins. I could send some of that stuff, but like there's, yeah, one piece of gear from the Smelly Pirate's cache. That's right. One hour per storm. 
takes 15 to 20 minutes in a group to get 200 kills. Okay. I want to do Cobalt Assembly today. I'm not I'm not worried about Primal Storms yet. That's a later me problem. Let's go talk to to Captain Captain Keglug over here. What's his name? Dakash Grimledger. That's the one. Excuse me. So yeah, I can just give him 18 copper, which is an arbitrary number. He gives me a belt. Hey, it's got leech on it. Why not? I'm sure I could get like the flight stones and do I have flight stones? Yeah, a few of them. I'm sure I could get the crest to upgrade it even more, but yeah. <sighs> the vine. Oh, I haven't seen it. Is it funny? <laughs> uh, stayed up till 2 a.m. this morning grinding up plunder. Now at level 39. Oh, you're so close. You got this easy. <sighs> um, yeah. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead here. In the interest of not being the person that talks excessively about the hair, I'll be taking no questions about my hair. Mm. I am accepting compliments, though. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I was gonna fast travel. I forgot. I guess if we turn around, we head this way. There's the there's the thing. Kitty, how you doing today? How's your day going? I know I did a lot of laundry yesterday. You weren't very happy because the laundry machine was going. I had to bleach my shower curtain. I was scrubbing the tub, and I was like, the shower curtain liner has at some point in its lifespan become cursed. Like I've washed it before and there's an argument to be made for replacing it, but I'm getting hung up just because it's a big sheet of plastic that I know I can clean. Um, so I'm getting hung up and replacing it. I kind of don't want to replace it until I move one day, whenever that might be. Um, okay, so here's the deal. This is the general area. There's a quest here. I don't really remember anything. I did start. I've like definitely opened the way gate though. I don't think this is important. <laughs> Caribbean, very cute. Have you seen Time Man? They've fixed the new mounts in the journal. He's huge. Let me see. Mounts. Tie Van. Whoa! He is huge! Is that right? Are we committed to that? How big is he on my nose? <laughs> big boy. At first I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's the same size. And I like zoomed in to see my evoker for reference and holy mackerel and smell. Okay, so if I looked in the group finder and I was poking around, there is a cobalt route rep farm. Is it just that one for the moment? Anybody in the questing section? No, not too many things. I didn't find out. They've got four members. I wonder if they stay at four. I wonder if they stay at four. What else is on your to-do list before next x pack? My main thing right now is to focus on this achievement. Um, after we get the rep, there's a number of other things that I need to do that are tied with some of the other reps. I'm going to need to do like some hunts. I'm going to need to do some Primal Storm stuff. All right. So I just kill stuff, eh? That's kind of the vibe. We're in devastation. Yeah, that'll do. I have, um, I don't think I'm gonna top meters, but I have 445. This last season's gear is better than nothing. All my other alts are like 380 something, so it'll, it'll do. Uh, is there any reason to be looting these these treasures just to make them go away, maybe? This, are they, they're not involved, right? <sighs> Door frames around Azeroth, be on alert. About to get dive in. Sweden says, hello, hello. Welcome to the group I am in. I'm assuming this is you, which means that that we can now dissect your entire life. <laughs> uh, I need this rep for the World Awoken meta achievement. It's part of the oh my god they were clutch mates um, sub achievement that requires you to finish um, get maximum reputation with everything. So there we go. I feel like Evoker, even with my slightly less good gear, is really not a bad person to be farming this on. Am I doing something wrong? I'm not noticing rep. Is there some other thing that I've missed? I thought it was just killing stuff. Hello, cat avoidance trip. You need to click on the orbs for the abilities. Yeah, but I don't need that for rep, right? It's just for like extra, extra toys to play with. Power, you'll do more damage. Mm. I just want to make sure I'm getting rep because <laughs> I haven't seen any yet. And I'm gonna need a lot. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
That was Cobalt Assembly's powers increased. It would be too much for them to tell me by how much, I suppose. <laughs> Rep tokens drop from mobs. Okay. So as long as I'm looting things, then we're, we're okay. Is it you who needs more rep? It's a very good guess. Your powers of deduction are truly um, infallible this, this morning or afternoon or reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, what else do I need to do? I need to then go into my rep tab and find the cobalt assembly and show it as my experience bar so I can stick it down there and maybe move a couple of buttons <laughs> off of the off of the mess that is my bars here so that I can see the entire thing. We're, yeah, we're three of five medium. I'm 319 in. Fine, 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 fine. Um, movement speed. Is there like a little hierarchy of like the best powers? If I, I suppose I could read them. <laughs> reading at this time of day this amount of caffeine i don't know man major power good uh crit random redshirt thank you very much for the 44 month reset good morning hazel hope the grind is going well thank you very very much good morning to you too i've just started but so far so good let's see um um yeah stat buffs i understand <laughs> Stat buffs seem good. <sighs> Does the meta achievement feel easier than Veil Strider? No, but I've also forgotten how Veil Strider was. It's been so long that I don't really remember a lot of the details about it. Um, so I don't really, I don't really know. <laughs> Let's do this. Maybe a little bit of this. You know, you're an invoker. You don't need gear. You just press the Dragon Rage button and a bunch of the the red ones, and then everything's fine. <laughs> um, so these stack? They do stack. You can stack up extra, like, crit, haste, etc., etc. You probably want to make sure that you're refreshing them as well. There's probably weak words and stuff that, like, yells at you um, to, t to use a Cobalt catch-up if you run behind too much. <clears throat> You did have to throw parties. Mm, that is true. I did throw parties. I think that just coincidentally, I had already, I had already been aware. I was, I was more caught up during Shadowlands. Like there was fewer stuff that either was added later that I just never noticed bef before the fact. Undetected for the rough game. Okay. I'll take a look at that. Had more of this done naturally in Veil Strider. I wonder if I've just been more distracted in... Um, if I've just been more distracted in Dragonflight. I've been doing more different things. They're taking more breaks to play other games or something like that. Because I definitely have more of this left over. Mainly the achievements in the... Mainly the achievements in the section... Here, let's track the whole thing. Also, I should probably find the other people in the group, otherwise, why am I here? <laughs> uh, this Across the Isles achievement has a bunch of sub-achievements that I have sometimes not even started on. Hannah Harmco, thank you for the 25-month resale. It's an ability tree for Cobalt Assembly. One of them increases rep gain. Oh, that. How do I earn... Is it just from... Is it just from... tell how invested in Cobalt Assembly I am. Uh, I don't know where any of the people are. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know where, I don't know what's going on. When's it made two random powers? You sure, sure thing. I just got done doing this grind, so annoying. It seems, well, I was gonna say it seems okay so far, but it's all so up. Oh, hey, an element is splintered. I think I'm pretty, pretty early in. This, mastery, and then maybe, uh, maybe some extra health. East of the farm spot. Okay. There's a lot. Oh, I'll try and I'll try and go east. <laughs> east is this way. Is it in in this round thing? Because there's lots of things that are east. These are friendly people. That's a good start. There's a quartermaster. Is that relevant? I know they sell like transmogs and stuff. That can't be right. 
Uh, you've got... Oh, hey, look. Customizations I don't have. Sure, why not? <laughs> don't mind if I do. Grateful I did this rep early on. Got me my tie bed now. Nice. Yeah, I was on my vote. Exactly. I had a couple levels of the rep already. Which isn't that far into the rep grind, but it was far enough that I figured that I would be fine doing it on this. Especially because you do get powers that, like, increase your combat effectiveness. One of these people must be this tech tree essence weaver. No, you're just, you're just weaving essences. That's not helpful. Um, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I, I am, I don't, oh, 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 there's a book. I found a book. Is it? No, not you. Is it you? Student. Are you the book? Okay. If I swear, if I already had it. Uh, rep cost. Research cost. I think I already had them all. I think I had them done already. <laughs> it's all about the last rep level in the first week of Dragonflight just to get the epic ring. Done with the achievement, but an hour when I went back. Nice. Yeah, people must have done more of, like, these things. Oh, I guess that's really... There's only a little bit I need for that. I only need Storm Chaser for Into the Storm. Fight Club, I'm missing all kinds of stuff. I've just got, like, little bits and pieces that are that are not present. Hmm. Uh, only answer subscriber chat. That's not true. I miss, <laughs> I miss sub and unsub chat, uh, both. I, I never I never see everything, but I do my best. Girls tips on how to Oh, oh no, that's that's not appropriate. Um <laughs> that's that is your your health should be managed with like your own medical professionals and and please don't use other people's bodies as a template for what you should or shouldn't look like. Too bad you can't tell us about Fight Club. Mm. Um, let's refresh our duration because we lost a bunch of time just noodling around. Five seconds. Some of them have a lot of, um, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of words. Some of these have a lot of words. All right, we're, we're catching up. I'm going to be helping in no time. Promise. Swear. Movement, speed, and haste. Allows casting as long as you are moving. I think some of these you have to keep moving in order to, like, get the buff, and I don't know about that. And here. Got to level 40 of Plunderstorm last night. The parrot was worth it. Yeah. It makes me excited to be able to dragon ride in other types of mounts that aren't dragons. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like dragons as much as the next person, but we've had a lot of them. I'm ready for something else. Arcane sheep, sure. Yeah, why not? And um, you're getting rep into camp. No, I was there. I was supposed to be there to check on a research thing, and I think I already had it. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know why, but I have this rep branded in my brain as something that I don't like for whatever reason. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's kind of fun. Um, there's, there's really no, <laughs> no trouble here. It's just that for whatever reason, I don't like it. Which means that I'm immediately resistant to everything that involves learning, even though it's not that complicated. Sure. Yeah, we can be tall. We can be big. Besides Cobalt Rep and Storm Chaser, just missing certain world quests I have to wait for. Yeah. I know I'm going to need to spend some time messing around with the Grand Hunts. I think that's like a thing. Um, Centaur of Attention needs... I three more appearances. Oh, apparently I also just haven't done treasures, so like the there's hidden treasures that are, I'm pretty sure, just one-time loots from various zones that I'm missing. That should be pretty easy. <sighs> Boring's not always a problem for me, though. Ooh. Oh, I phased. But I phased into a phase that has more mobs. <laughs> That's good. New meta made me regret putting Welp Daycare on my back burner as it's heavily time gated. But there's so many cute, there's so many cute pets you get from that one. Well, take care is fun, but there, yeah, there's, there's some time getting, and you have to, to finish it. I had to, 
at least to finish some of the achievements. I don't know if there are achievements that are like relevant and necessary for it, but it um, there you had to get certain like dailies to spawn in the camp that not only do you need to progress the whole daycare far enough to get them to be there, but you also have to get kind of lucky. Like there's only so many slots and just it's random. Missing two legendary photos, fishing hole unlocked. Five elemental storms, book in the vaults, and pretty much all a whelp taker. Plus they get yeah, whelp taker will take the longest. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't wanna I don't wanna frighten you, but book in the vaults is a real <laughs> mystery in terms of how long it could take. It it could be fast. It could be not fast. I think players will be more, more conscious about it, completing annoying achieves earlier on. I think a lot of people were that way for Dragonflight. People had more faith than me. I wasn't convinced they were going to do another expansion-wide meta. Now that we've had two in a row, I feel like I have faith. <laughs> and next expansion, in the War Within, I'm probably going to try to be more conscientious about keeping up with the completion-y achievements for the various features. But... At the time, when Dragonflight was happening, I wasn't too worried about it, because Veilstrider had been like a... I don't know. I, di I didn't know if they would do it again. <laughs> I suppose I should have had faith, but it took them a long time to add it. Regretting not doing the Forbidden Reach meta. Mm -hmm. How fares the grind? Um, I've got my bar at the bottom. I think I'm like 400 rep in. And I've been here for... I don't know, some amount of time. How long have I been here? Not that long, actually. Maybe 15 minutes? And not the most efficient 15 minutes ever, either. I think that I'll get a little better at this as we go. T BFA technically had one, but it was super difficult. Oh. Did it give anything? I wonder if it flew under my radar if it didn't offer, like, a, a mount or a pet or anything. I mean, I guess I did Veilstrider just for the title, and then the mount came later. <laughs> Poop all the siblings. Yeah, I didn't put it off forever. I just, at the time, I guess I thought I only needed it for... I, maybe the cosmetics didn't appeal to me? I don't know. I know that people did it for a ring, and I was just convinced that I didn't need the ring. That I was going to get a better ring from Raid for way less time. I think the problem is that this was one of the launch reps. And it was a grindy launch rep. And I, during launch, I was busy. <laughs> I was doing other things. I didn't have the extra bandwidth to want to come out here and just like grind a bunch of stuff when I thought it was for a ring. Little did I know. It was for a good boy. Oh, Champion of Azeroth. That's right. That's right. I think they came out with that. And I think I looked at what was required. And I think I said, no, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you crazy? Uh, that's right. I don't think I did that. Yeah, because you needed Gladiator for it, so it was, it was not, it didn't, it didn't, uh, show up in my brain as a relevant piece of information. I'm glad they didn't require the crazy PvP achievements for the Shadowlands ones or this one, then. Well, see you later, kitty cat. Have a good day. What are we doing? Showing up kind of late to a lot of these parties. I wish I could just like run over these and just automatically get reasonably decent powers. Because I'm not even like I'm spending that much time doing damage. I'm sure I do reasonable damage now with all these powers, but everything's already dead. There must be a stack limit. It seems like I have. Well, no, I have up to five stacks of arcane health. Also, I feel very slow. I, I can't tell if it's because, um, if it's because I'm just big, so I look like I'm moving slowly. That might be part of it. Took me 159 shovel charges and probably about as many scout packs to get them all. Come out pretty messy with lag and stuff. That may have also been the case. They hotfixed the two item quest to just one in plunder. <laughs> nice. I felt like they also, and this was a total conspiracy because I don't, I didn't ever see like a note about this. I can barely fit through this door. I felt like they had also done hot fixing to make more supply chests available because I started seeing like a ton of them. Oh, the bigger, the make you bigger buff lowers your movement speed. Oh, okay. I should probably get rid of that one then. <laughs> hmm. 
Where is it? Arcane luck. Equalizer. Leap. Haste. Enlargement. Yeah, 45% reduced movement speed. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> that is not necessary. <laughs> Excited for Saturday. New computer day. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm pretty sure I know what you mean, but the phrase a little bit makes it sound like every Saturday is new computer day, which would mean that every Saturday would be like, you know, install your software all over again day, but like every single week. <laughs> Pick the power that makes you small, damage done taken, and more movement speed. There we go. Can't, can't be too mad at a beacon from the beyond. I wonder how far in this we can get in one day. I wonder if this is one dayable, you know? Hello, Hazel. Hope you're doing wonderful. Hello, Balnazar. Thank you very much. We're doing pretty good. I saw the smaller power for a second. I'm very behind. <laughs> I don't know that I'm doing better for being in a group. I feel like I'm mainly just losing people consistently. I wonder if while I'm streaming if I'm better off. Not better off, but if I'm less of a dead weight on my own. I can do damage, but I'm like showing up to everything super late. There's another group fighting for tags. Oh. I see. Well, that's a bummer. Small one. I do like her being tiny. What time and day is it? Uh, 9.28 in the morning on Thursday, March the 28th. I am on West Coast. <laughs> did this the other day. How long did it take you? Is it is it usually a one dayer? Even in the Giant of Oakies, you find a way to be a no. Two sittings back to back on launch, probably four hours altogether. Okay. I should stop complaining then, that's not that long. <laughs> Spent dramatically more time than that just in Plunger's Storm. Maybe I won't worry so much about grouping up with people and I'll just try to tag and kill whatever I can. And then loot things as I'm able to. I'm from the future. <laughs> A lot of people are. No spoilers. Unless they're good spoilers, I could use good news spoilers. <laughs> Sometimes I end up with recurring dreams. And the one that I've had more than anything lately is a variations on a dream. They're all different, but the theme is the same. Where I buy back the house that I grew up in as a child. And the freaky thing is I was talking to my sister and she's had the same dreams. <laughs> like, I, I think it's just because it was like that house. We didn't live there for like our entire childhood because I moved around a lot, but we lived there for longer than we lived anywhere else. Um, I was there from probably the ages of like 8 to 14 ish and maybe even longer than that maybe 15 but it was like it just had so much space and trees and room and it was like kind of in the woods and it was a big old house a big old like steep gravel driveway that was impossible to drive up and when it got snowy which was often because it was <laughs> in the wilderness and in this version of the dream, there I had bought it online. I had been browsing real estate and I would found it and then I had hit the buy now button because in my dream real estate is like Amazon. And I, I show up and I'm a little nervous about being able to afford the mortgage, but I'm excited because I, because I bought it back and it's mine now and I can, I can go back and live there again. But when I get there, there's like a whole, like there, there, it's been, it's changed. It's different. There's like an underground where the, the paddock used to be. There's an underground bunker basically that you go down in there and it's like this huge sort of office space. And it's got a big table and chairs that are like made for 12 feet tall people. And I was really excited because I look how much room this is. This whole little outbuilding is like bigger than my entire apartment before. This is great. This is so exciting. What am I gonna do with all of this stuff? I wonder if I can get internet out here. I was like, tr I was like in my brain budgeting to see if I could afford the mortgage payment and like a range extender or like a separate router. I don't remember how I was gonna do it, but I was like 
dreaming about trying to wire it for internet so I could stream from there. <sighs> Sorry, won't analyze dreams. Mm -hmm. Most common setting for my dreams is my childhood home too. Yeah. It would never actually happen because unless I somehow changed careers and... No, because even if I didn't work online anymore, because the internet's not that good out there. Um, you're, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, you're on, like a cell, cell connection sort of thing. You can, it would be fine for like doing emails and like maybe like video calls, but you probably wouldn't want to run like a stream from it like this. So I don't think that I would ever actually move back to that, that place. But clearly some part of me wants to. Dream about having an alarm going back to sleep. Literally what I dream about. Hmm. That's a little bit, um... I mean, maybe the dream is just that you get to sleep more. <laughs> maybe you just have a huge sleep debt. And you just need a vacation where you can just, like, 10 hours of sleep every night until you feel better. What's your favorite fish to catch and cook? Uh, trout. I like rainbow trout. We get nice fresh ones here. They are the easiest and most accessible to fish for. And they are super easy to to cook. The really good ones um, start to taste like salmon because trout are salmonids; they're related. And some of them will have like this really, depending on what they've been eating, like a deep colored fish, and it just tastes really nice. They're good. <laughs> Sometimes I dream I'm back at school that I've forgotten about a big project that was due. Yeah, I would say that's my second most frequently recurring dream is dreams of being back at school, either university or even high school. The high school dreams for me are usually about some kind of anxiety about not being able to graduate and trying to get enough credits so I can graduate, while at the same time knowing that I have a content creation job and what if I just stop going to school and just put my time into YouTube because I'm 30 and I'm already earning a living. And then, uh, and then sometimes it's about about being back at university and not having, again, not having not having my assignments ready, but also being like, why am I here? <laughs> For what am I pursuing this degree? Had trout, never rainbow trout. Now I'm intrigued. Mm. They're the they're just they're they're the commonly stocked fish around here. Rainbow trout get stocked into most of the local lakes around the city. How often do you have wow dreams? Only if I've been playing, I'll have game dreams, but only if I've been playing a ton of that game. Um, I usually only have WoW dreams when I've been having like expansion launches. And then if we've been having like a huge Mythic Plus weekend, like early in the Mythic Plus season, sometimes we would end up playing like four hours of keys on a, like a Saturday and then like another four hours of keys in a Sunday. And that's usually enough keys for me to start seeing healing. <laughs> my heal, my, my Holy Priest healing UI in my sleep. Um, that's that's the main time I get wow dreams. I started having Hearthstone Battleground dreams, and that's how I knew I was I was going harder on that than I needed to. Oh. That's kind of a scary dream. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a dream where I became old. I have dreams where my hair gets very long very quickly, and then I'm distressed before I remember that you can just cut it again. <laughs> And then I have scary dreams where someone's trying to like kill me or like eat me or both. There was a cannibal last night. It woke me up around 1 a.m. I was very, I was very scared, but then I didn't want to like get up because what if there's cannibals out there? So I just stayed in bed until I like got tired enough to go back to sleep. And 42, thank you for the 30 month reset. Thank you for the lovely time. Oh, Made a lot of changes to the Dragonflight dungeons next season. Most are really nice. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do enough of them to get at least the new Keystone Master Mount. But after that, I, I don't think I'm gonna be pursuing the portals again, because I have the portals already in this character, and I'm just really holding out that they're gonna make him account wide. I don't need to grind those ones again on my priest. Someone wants to eat you, but not kill you? I mean, that's scarier than somebody killing you first and then eating you, because, you know, you have to watch them do it. I guess you don't have to watch them. They could be a polite cannibal that, like, you know just removes a slice of leg or whatever, and then it's like, okay, sorry about that. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, please don't sniff for the next two hours because I will be using the pressure cooker. 
or the, the crock pot. <laughs> I have a stream VOD running on my tablet at night so I can realize it was just a dream very fast. Oh. Alternate reality dreams. What if you're just close to the gaps between universes? <laughs> I just I just finished reading Terry Pratchett's Lords and Ladies, which is a Discworld novel that involves the the various universes in the multiverse getting a little bit too close. And uh, that's primed me for this <laughs> new nightmare. Maybe that's what the secret underground room in the shed was for. The dream. Animals. Well, it's, if if true, they they outfitted it very nicely. It was like freshly painted and it, like surprisingly bright and airy for an underground bunker. <laughs> I have wild deja vu a lot, starting to wonder. If someone tries to eat, me, wants to eat me. I really don't think they're polite anymore. No matter what else they do. I mean, if they take your feelings into account regarding being eaten and then don't eat you, and then also they don't ask because it would be rude to ask. You don't know how many people you interact with on a daily basis might desire to consume you. <laughs> it's an unknown quantity. Well, case from here, season four, give. It's a great question. I don't know. What if alternate realities are real? And you, and one of them dies. Parts of them fuse with those left, and that's why our taste and personality changes over the course of our lives. Huh. Bar is filling nicely. Mm. Unfortunately, this is only the medium bar. <laughs> the next two bars are harder. There's five levels. This is the third one. And the amounts of rep required to fill them get, like, ugly. The first couples are basic. The first couple of them are basically gimmies. Let's gather some of this stuff up. Mr. Illuminati, thank you very much for the brand new sub. I'm, uh, I, I, I get that there's like a pun with your name, but I can't help but imagine just like a, an otter, like a really cute, <laughs> really cute cartoon of an otter. Uh, did the Soldier Dead share a cooldown? Not across characters, no. Each character had their own cooldown on the Soldier Dead. But the, uh oh, hang on. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. As we're right. Um, but yeah, like if you use the soul and the soul diffuser, the, I forget what it's called, the soul inhaler, on like a rock elemental, it'll still be on cooldown the same way. Like you, you have the same amount of time to wait before you do another one of any type. <clears throat> I live far enough into the woods that some of my neighbors want to eat me. Camera caught a mountain lion in our driveway a couple months ago. Ooh. So happy when I saw the otter mouse. It's actually my last name. Aww. Helping someone get their Voker Lego. Mm -mm. I don't think I knew that that had anything to do with soul inhaling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I vendored my soul inhalers. I decided that now that I have the pets, and I got the majority of toys and mods that use those items. Plus, I kept the items that I had farmed. I think I just figured that, uh, I've let all my powers expire because I got really tired of, um, no, I don't want to grow larger. I got really tired of, um, clicking on the orbs. Yeah, we just, we inhaled enough souls. See, that was a fun grind, and I couldn't tell you what the difference was. It was obviously boring. Is it just because it used to be harder and then it got easier? Is that all it takes for me to get invested in a grind, just to know that it would have been more painful had I done it at some lost past portion of time? So if you like lied to me and you told me that Cobalt Assembly used to be five times harder, I would feel better about doing it right now. I mean, I guess it used to be harder because we used to have not as much gear. Yeah, I'm working on the meta achievement. I loot all this stuff. Yeah. Spell. Also, I've lit myself on fire. Uh, Cobalt rep. There's a reputation in Dragonflight called the Cobalt Assembly, and completing it is one of the requirements for the meta achievement. Yeah, it is easier because we're stronger. I've kind of self-sabotaged a part of that benefit because of, because I've, I'm doing it on a a character that didn't play a Mirdrasil. 
If all of the rep levels were equal in size, I would make this more tame and reasonable by just doing one rep level every time. But alas, that's not how it works. The rep levels are... Here, I'm, I'm clicking off the fire thing. The fire thing's obnoxious. Yeah, so it takes 300 to get from empty to low, 900 to get from low to medium. Once you're in medium, you need 2400 rep to get to high. Oh, okay, I'm farther along than I thought. I was reading the thing wrong. And then once you're at the next rep level after this one, it's 6400 rep. But then you're done. So once I finish this, I will only have one bar left to fill. And it'll be a big bar, but it'll be the last one. That does make me feel a little bit better. I think I had my math funky, and I was assuming there was going to be one more level after that. The fire thing is the worst arcade ability. Yeah. It doesn't seem like we really have that much trouble killing enemies without the buffs, although I, maybe it's because I'm in a group with other people that have them. Curse that funky math. Uh, no, this is, this is very user-friendly. <laughs> Depending on uh, whether or not you like slept on it wet or something funny like that. Surprises are fun, after all. The worst is the exploding map. It kills you if there's not at least four bots around you. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that. I didn't. I don't think I knew that was an option. I want to group up a ton of stuff, but I don't want to die <laughs> again. More times than I already have. Why is the bot lying? Oh, did you try the wig command? In what way is the bot lying to you? In pet battles? I heard it says, uh, great day today. Mm. <sighs> I steamed dumplings for dinner last night. They were pre-created frozen dumplings, so we, we shouldn't be too impressed, but it was pretty tasty. I need the dipping sauce, and I used the rest of my rice vinegar, so I'm all out. I gotta get more. <laughs> Ran at the whole area, and then hope some damage dealers show up, so I'm not there all day. <sighs> yeah, I wonder if the other people left. Oh, hi, kitty cat. How are you doing? Maximum health. That seems like a safe thing to do. <laughs> Same on the rice vinegar. I don't use it for a ton of things, but... I use it often enough that I get itchy if I don't have it in the house. <laughs> you gotta have it around. I use it to make sushi rice for sushi bowls because I'm too lazy to actually roll up sushi anymore. Frozen dumplings in the rice cooker seems to do okay. Hmm, that's a good idea. I wanted... Alright, this is not a story. <laughs> this is just this is just Hazel complaining like a small child. I woke up this morning and I was like, what am I gonna have for breakfast? You know what I want? I want to turn back time and make some oats because I like doing them the night before I set them up in the rice cooker and I schedule it to have like hot cooked oats ready at an early time in the morning but uh, there wasn't enough time to do it before stream I'm gonna have to remember <laughs> it's hard to plan food in advance if you could add any playable race to the game what would it be mm, dry ants and you can have centaurs in there too if you want. If you wanted more quadrupedal horse slash deer related people. I'd also um, second close thing would be Naga, but um, I would I would love to see Dryads. Brown feral model. This this one. This is this is Miss Kira. <laughs> this is my baby girl. <laughs> About to belt out some share. Just a just a a mild amount that hopefully would not get flagged by any kind of uh, <laughs> copyright agency due to being out of key. <sighs> I have been on a share kick lately. I don't know what started it, but I have been bumping share um, while cooking <laughs> in the rare occasion that I end up in my kitchen. I've mostly been cleaning. I haven't been cooking much lately, but I've been on a big cleaning kick. I want playable spiders. You have to consider the amount of time it would take to make Mog work on the race. I just use Mechanomes as a model in that if they, like, obviously putting pants on Dryads is stupid, so just don't let them Mog pants. 
There you go. Job done. <laughs> Take whatever button makes pans stupid on Mega Gnomes and then put it on Dryads. Or just like don't let the or not not even um not even not even mechanomes. Uh Drakthir. Drakthir don't wear Drakthir don't wear pants in their Drakthir form. It's not a problem. <sighs> Hoping we either get the new biped Nuri Beans and War Within, or Naga and Midnight. Like, they've added this as a playable race to the game, and they barely wear any armor, so I don't think the Mog argument holds water. I think that you could just have them not wear very much of it, and that would be fine. Yeah, Drakthir wear belts and shoulders. And that is m more or less it. I think they sometimes can wear... I don't know. You'd think I would know more. I used to be a director, maybe. <laughs> Tabards? Yeah. If we get playable bears, we should definitely have them pants. <laughs> what are they wearing a belt for? I don't get it. Oh, you, don't, you don't dig a decorative... A decorative belt. <laughs> a non-load-bearing belt. So many years, still no ogres. They can wear tabards, why not non-robe chest pieces? Yeah. I don't know. I never minded in my drag through that. Well, I minded a little bit, I suppose, but I always just kind of mogged their I mogged their um you know, their visage form and then and then just worried about that. It means that you're never gonna see your mog properly on your loading screen. But I don't know, what's it to me? <laughs> I play a priest now. Emotional support belt. <laughs> hmm. Lucy still has his emotional support pizza toy. It's it sustained some damage at this point, but he does still have it. He does still. He the problem is the reason it sustained some damage is that he wants to play tug with the squeaky toy, because <laughs> he wants to play tug with everything. Utility belt like Batman. GF wears belts and rompers even though they serve no function. Um, so if I I can totally see wearing a belt over a dress or a romper. Um, or like a tunic or anything like that, because the function is to create silhouette in the outfit. The function is to basically nip in your waist so that you have a waist in the in the outfit. But when Drakthir do it, it's not really over anything. I mean, in this case, it's over her little her little. Well, it doesn't really go back to the around the back, you know. <laughs> Just having a belt on your bare tummy is 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 for something else, I suppose. Glad he went back to priest. It feels like all of us that main Drakthir have a shared delusion of having done it. There must still be Drakthir mains. Although, um, do I know any? Yeah, I do. I do. My my Drakthir friend is still playing a Drakthir. He just went Og. Although he was talking about playing um, something else for War Within. So we might lose all of our evokers. <laughs> it's a great class. It's just um, it's just not not my thing anymore. I had I had a nice couple of patches with it. It was fun. I am done now, though. <laughs> We're moving on. Maybe their belly button is their secret weak spot. <laughs> you just give them a little poke in the belly like the Pillsbury Doughboy, and they go, hoo hoo, and then they just dissolve into goo. Dead spec for high level play right now. That's a bummer. I spend a disproportionate amount of time thinking about the Pillsbury Doughboy relative to how much I've been consuming Pillsbury products. I don't, I mean, I'm sure there's some other brand under that same umbrella that I would buy stuff from, but I'm not like buying Pillsbury biscuits out of a can over here. <laughs> so why does that mascot and the whole belly poking thing live in my memory in infamy? I mean, I think we're nailing how to make bears playable. We don't even have that here, yeah. They weren't good. They weren't very good. Like the, I'm not a huge fan of like the pre-made biscuits in the tube and like the cookies that you slice out of the tube. Like they're, I don't know, they're okay. <laughs> I suppose they're technically edible and that's about as good of a review as I can give them. You think the Doughboy like men think of the Roman Empire? <laughs> Why are men thinking about the Roman Empire? It's over. Not about to make pigs in a blanket. No, not especially. My pigs are just cold. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Oh. Now what I did like making was baking powder biscuits that they taught us to make in home ec. Like a super simple, like a, it's like a like a baking powder biscuit. It's not not exactly a scone. More or less what <laughs> Mr. Mr. Pillsbury was going for. 
and then fresh out of the oven because they have to be fresh they don't get very good when you when you keep them longer than that but fresh out of the oven with like jam um, that's a good time I haven't done that in a long time partly because you kind of have to eat the whole batch they don't they don't reheat very well well drop biscuits a drop biscuit but I wouldn't drop them I would sl I would use a glass I would cut them I would roll roll the dough flat and then I would cut them Drives me a bit, Pillsbury is how easy it is to make biscuits. Mm. I have not had breakfast yet, and I want biscuits so bad. Rolled biscuits, yeah, I guess so. Because we also have scones, but that's a, a similar but slightly different thing. My Nana makes. She used to make one for her and then one for the dog every morning when she had a dog. Cute. Have you ever had biscuits and gravy for breakfast? I can't say that I have. Drop biscuits for when you need biscuits right now. A biscuit emergency, so to speak. I've been kind of sort of meaning to make cookies for like months. <laughs> I keep, sometimes I do the dance where you take the butter or margarine in my case out of the fridge because you have to soften it a bit before you make dough. And then you leave it out for a few hours, and then you're like, alright, I'm not, you know, the day ends, or the morning comes, and you look at it, and you're like, okay, never mind, I'm not actually baking. You put it back in the fridge. And then, like, a few more days go by, and then you go, okay, today's the day, and you take it out of the fridge. And then it doesn't happen, you put it back in the fridge. <laughs> I've done the dance a number of times. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think, I think it's just not meant to be. Scones in Ireland are sweet. Most of the ones that we make here are as well. Uh, there are savory varieties, um, like a cheddar. I've heard like cheddar scones are, are totally a thing. But uh, my nana used to do like orange, cranberry, almond ones. They're really good. Spot in Portland that did biscuits, gravy, well done kale, equal portions. That felt fair. Ask you to pet the kitty. Hi, kitty. Can you want to say hi to Kim? Hi. Streaming is, is Hazel and Kitty Cat time. Miss Kira. Her name is Kira. K-I-R-A. I was watching Death Note at the time when I got a kitty. <laughs> I watched the new live action like American Death Note film. Did you know that they made one of those? It was the weirdest, well not the weirdest thing I've ever seen because that's a pretty high bar but it was so strange. I at the beginning I thought that they were doing it as like a comedy because like the opening scene where he first meets the death god is so camp that I couldn't even keep myself alive. But then I don't know, it was all very odd. It wasn't well received. I can see why. <laughs> I don't like re resent the time I spent watching it, but it I don't know what I was expecting. It wasn't that. <laughs> William Defoe's the spirit dude. I guess so. Yeah, I think so. I like the musical, the songs go hard. Where was the musical? Actively avoided. So there was a Japanese live action one that came out in the early 2000s that I had bootleg DVDs of. I don't know if it was any good because it didn't have subtitles on my bootlegged DVDs, so I watched like half of it and then I realized that I just didn't speak Japanese. And that I could kind of follow what was going on because that one actually followed the plot of the anime. Um, but I <laughs> didn't speak Japanese. <sighs> I don't think I have those DVDs anymore now that I mention it. Um, and then there's, there's this new weird one. <sighs> Who is asking for live action remakes? I think that it's hard to sell people on media properties that are not based on an existing IP that people already recognize. So you just get endless remakes and reboots and sequels and prequels because the only thing that people will actually click on to watch in an endless sea of unvetted content is something that they like recognize or have some kind of tie to. Uh, yeah, I took the slow buff again. You're absolutely right. <sighs> Alright. How are we doing? We're almost out of this rep level. The next one is going to be a little more than twice as hard as it, though. <laughs> Watching half of it is a long time to realize. Wait, I don't understand a word. I think that there were multiple DVDs of it. And maybe some of, like, maybe one of them had subs and one of them didn't. I don't know. Like movies like Free Guy, Knives Out, they were actually new. Mm. <laughs> I think I watched Free Guy in like... Did I watch it in theaters or did I just rent it? 
I remember being... Like, it was a movie. It was fine. I didn't have a problem with it, but... I had a brief moment of, like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> hey, Slip, would you download a car? Um, I mean, if the manufacturer was offering that as a service. <laughs> I wouldn't... I wouldn't pirate a car. Just like I probably wouldn't commandeer a boat. They're gonna catch me. 3D printed car? Sure. Not watching any sequels, trilogies, reboots, and theaters ever again. I don't have that kind of conviction because I want to go see Dune 2. <laughs> I'm, uh... It's just hard to pick things to take a chance on when you don't have any kind of a connection to them. And you can, like, search out reviews, but you want to do that without spoiling it too much or without preforming your own opinions too much. The usual metric I use for whether or not I should watch something is whether or not I've seen people in my circles talking about it, like word of mouth, or I've just seen like a lot of headlines that have crossed my radar. Like if something gets a lot of press buzz, I'll usually backlog it in my brain as, okay, people were at least talking about this, so it couldn't have been that boring, but it also could have been just good marketing. Um, I have some desire to watch Love Lies Bleeding just because I saw all of the photo shoots that k Stu did with Rolling Stone and I read a ridiculously long article that went nowhere that they they made in Rolling Stone with, with k Stu. And um, and now I feel like I know no enough about the film to like watch it even though I don't know if it's my thing or not. <laughs> I can't really tell what kind of movie it is. It might be a thriller, it's hard to say. But I need to I need to take a short break, I'll be right back. All right, let's contribute before, before, um, before I'm exiled from the planet for mooching. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kristen, Kristen Stewart, not soup, not stew. Like the Star Wars shows in Disney Plus, but not the Raylo movies. Mm. Too many shows that they're hard to find good ones. Have you guys started watching this Netflix thing, Three Body Problem? And if so, without saying too much about it, recommend? Fun? Yes. I'm uh, I'm not, I'm not like super ready to start something, but I was, I was, I was poking around looking at it. Heard good things. The preview was intriguing to me. Um, it kind of, it kind of caught my eye. I've just been annoying lately in that I've been really picky. I've been just dipping out of things. Like, I started a bunch of new shows, and I watched, like, a couple episodes of them, and then I was like, I just don't care anymore. And I think that's more of, like, a me thing than the show's fault, but it's made it hard to get into stuff. I haven't read the book, though. Oh, I haven't read the book either. Who's the book by? <sighs> a good friend whose opinion I trust speaks well of it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I might give it a try sometime. Netflix cheapness to production, otherwise good open. Mm. How are we doing? Oh, we're really close to a rep level. <laughs> my green bar at the bottom here is tracking my cobalt assembly rep. We're at medium. And then there's just one more bar to fill after this one. It's going to be bigger, but just, just one more. Also, I have, I have grazed a vendor. What am I going to do with all my gold? I'm kind of waiting to see if WoW tokens ever dip in price again significantly to just stock up on them for bnet balance but uh i guess i should try to make more gold in that case <laughs> or i could like save half a mil oh dear um to have available um i could save half a mil to have available to start making gold within the war within and that would be a really smart thing to do, but then I wouldn't get to have my fun thing where I start broke every expansion. <laughs> it's like the worst economics ever, but I get a real kick out of having nothing. Like walking into each expansion with like a half penny and a stick of gum in my pocket and then starting from scratch. It makes it so exciting to do like early gathering and stuff because it's actually all helping like a meaningful amount. I swear they nerfed Bonestorm. Chinese author, three in the series. Oh, okay. If they do, probably at the start of the next X-Pack. I think that's usually how it goes. 
Yeah, because the price would fall whenever a lot of people were trying to buy gold, right? So it would be early in like a raid tier, but probably not season four. Season four is probably not big enough for people to come back and be like, okay, I'm going to sink 50 bucks into this and get a bunch of gold to like kit my character out or whatever. You can try just this once to not start broke to see how you like it. It just sounds like starting like a Pokemon game with like a level 35 Pikachu. It's like, what's what's the point, you know? I mean, I, I, I get that there is a point, but... How long do you think it's taken you to get through the rep levels? Um, it's been about an hour to get from medium to, from from level three to level four, which was 1200 rep. So you could say like 1200 rep an hour. Uh, or was it 2400 rep? Let me see, let me double check my, double check my document. Uh, 2400 rep in an hour, approximately. And I started out kind of 1200 in, so I probably had like a half an hour, if that sounds about right worth of grinding done earlier in the expansion. Which would say that I need probably another two or three hours left. So I probably won't finish this today unless I start going really efficiently, but I could get pretty close. Also, hi Hazel. Hi Scarlet, how you doing? You could get a lightning orb. Pikachu would be busted for a campaign. I loved playing Pokemon games back before I knew very much about them, and I thought that any Pokemon that you found off the street could be considered equal. Which, you know, for the sake of just completing the campaign, they all pretty much can be. But, you know, just getting like a- getting like a Weedle- what a name for a Pokemon, by the way. Getting yourself a Weedle and being like, uh -huh, you are- you are but a measly bug right now, but you just wait by level 10. I shall be unstoppable, or at least- yeah, seven-year-old me thought that. I always like trying to find, trying to pick the Pokemon that were going to make up my team as early as possible because whenever I added Pokemon to my team later on in the game, I wouldn't have as much time to bond with them and I wouldn't have leveled them as far myself, which would make them, I don't know, just not as, first of all, I think not as powerful because you, they get certain bonuses when you level them. But, you know, it just wasn't the same, so I would try to, like, prioritize Pokemon that I could find within the first, like, couple of zones. <sighs> uh, the powers that you pick up from the orb uh, are generally, com generally combat buffs. Although there is one called Fun Detected that's about Arcana. Maybe it's a power that can happen from the orbs that makes them drop more stuff? Because, like, I went and talked to the research thing, but I also saw it as, like, a timed buff. So, I don't know. Gives me the hope this won't be a total time suck when I tackle this myself. Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Um, I would do it somewhat sooner rather than later. Because there are groups around. There were more of them last week. There are still some groups around now. I didn't form this group, I just joined one. And you want to ideally do it in a group with other people, both to help you get tags and to just help clear mobs as fast as you can, because it's basically just like a kill mob and loot them kind of thing. <laughs> Have my 3DS modified to accept non-Nintendo applications. Local Pokemon Bank lets me transfer mods from any gen to any other. That's kind of cool. Pseudo legendaries in the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine me watching House of the Dragon while leveling in WoW or Final Fantasy board. I had big intentions of putting on the recording of the Eras Tour on one monitor while I was like grinding something in a game. But I finished Plunderstorm. So I didn't really need- I didn't really have any grinds that I wanted to multitask with a show. I forget what the other one was that I wanted to do. Oh, it was Solo Self Found, but I've, I've pretty much let that go. <laughs> and then I ended up just- not all in one sitting, but then I ended up just, um... Just... <laughs> watching the tour just like a regular show on the TV. There was, uh, I was continually kept entranced by the by the mystery and suspense of what song is she gonna do next? Oh, I know that song. Okay, well, what song's after this? 
I know that song too. It's quite a <laughs> really keeps you keeps you going. The Taylor Swift movie. I watched the the concert recording. Um, I know they aired it in theaters, so I guess it's technically a movie, but it's not like a it's not like a documentary or a fictional movie. That is how concerts work, yeah. <laughs> it looked like a very large show. It's been a long time since I've been to see a concert, and I think if I ever went again, I couldn't go to a show that large for the first one because I would just, like, short circuit. I can't be around that many people, I'd die. But you also don't want to be around so few people that it's, like, you and, like, five people in the audience. You don't want to- you don't want the band to outnumber you. <laughs> because that's when they start getting audience participation going. Um... There's got to be a middle ground somewhere. Coupled with, hey, I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we know when Plunderstorm is precisely going to end. Bum to miss stop making sense in theaters. You and the band's five closest friends. It's like somebody's mother. Somebody's nephew. You. Somebody that nobody knows how they got there. Hmm. Sometimes the shows where it's you and the band's parents are the best shows. Maybe. I'm just shy. I, uh, I'm too used to consuming content online where the content can't see me. Um, <laughs> and in a large enough show or a medium show, it would be a similar thing where your function is just to be there and observe and not really... I mean, not, not that you're not involved, you know. You still... Yay! That kind of thing, but... <laughs> That's that's my concert etiquette. <laughs> Watch politely while they do the song, and then when it's over, you go, yay! <laughs> Good job! Proud of you. Fear of being perceived definitely real. I did not see Greg and Alex on Seth yet. No, was it good? <laughs> I, I, do, I do have vague intentions to watch it, although I don't know when. Went to the show when she was in my city. Went with family, loved it. Community was amazing, also very overwhelming. The crowd shots from the the concert recording of the Taylor Swift thing, there was a lot of people that were like crying, like people just in tears. I don't know if it's everywhere, but like the whole thing seemed like a lot. <sighs> no, there's nothing wrong with being emotional. It's just, um, you know, if, if it was everybody but me, I would be like, should I? Do I, do I need to cry? I could fit in. <laughs> Quick. Think of a sad story. How would you feel if you saw yourself in a crowd shot? I mean, it's happened before. I was in a, I was in some of the broadcast crowd shots in BlizzCon 2019. <laughs> I was wildly embarrassed. Cry on command in public? I imagine if, you, if you're in a group of people and a lot of them are all crying, there's got to be some kind of social contagion to that that would raise that threshold for you being able to also cry just to fit in. It's a pop and opera thing. Hmm. Did you hear BlizzCon may possibly be in Vegas this year? No. That would be weird. That would be strange. It's always at the Anaheim Convention Center. <laughs> I hate change. There are no blizzards in Vegas. Oh, there's another conference happening in Anaheim the same weekend or something. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Vegas is not top of my destinations list. Nevada in general doesn't seem like my, my speed. I don't know if I'm a desert girly. <laughs> Fun for like two days. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing lizards, but I don't know if that's why you go to Vegas. They have iguanas there? Reptile shows? There must be reptile shows. <laughs> you could see Cher. Is she there? That would be fun. I would probably enjoy the shows. I would rock out at a Blue Man Group show. And by rock out, I mean I would sit there politely and then launch to the number and then go, Yay! <laughs> 
<laughs> well done. Bravo. <sighs> you would like Tahoe, but it is far from Vegas. Isn't that like North Cali? I, at one point in my life, was planning a trip to Tahoe that never happened. I was going to go fishing. Lots of people have spent way too much time in the sun, so kind of lizards? Hmm. TwitchCon was in Vegas, and I remember a bunch of people being miserable in their review of the event. Yeah. TwitchCon's a strange one to me. I've never been, so I can't cast aspersions on it because I've never been. It would be uh, unfair of me to talk about it one way or another. But BlizzCon, I totally get because... Because... I, I guess I feel a connection to the to the WoW and Blizzard fandom. I feel like I belong there. Twitch culture mainly confuses me. It occasionally frightens me. It mainly confuses me. And I feel like TwitchCon is more about Twitch culture than it is about, like, any individual game. Because it's not about an individual game. It's about, like, the whole streaming as a platform. And as a result, it's... <laughs> it's the whole thing's kind of weird to me. I don't know what it's... I don't know what it's for. Every now and then someone asks me if I'm going to go, and the answer is always no, because I don't understand the purpose of the gathering. Cali, Nevada, border in the north. Oh. <sighs> Prepping for an F1 race or something, ton of construction, making it rough to navigate. Mm. Hobnobbing around making connections. Mm. Thing called networking that you hate. I see. <laughs> Okay, here's a, here's a snobby thought. Why do I feel like the type of people that are roaming the floor trying to, to make connections so you can collab are not the people that you really want to collab with? I feel like it's kind of like friend groups. Like, all of the stable, well-adjusted, nice ones already have friends and therefore are not recruiting new friends from the general population. Um... Maybe it's not exactly like that, and you can, you're, you know, there's, there's events where you meet people, and you're like, oh, hey, I've seen your thing, I've seen your thing, oh, that's really neat, let's play dominoes someday. But I feel like for the most part, it's just people attempting to use each other, and it's, <laughs> it's the desperate ones that are going to be out there being like, here's my card. <laughs> Networking with sponsors. Oh, I see. Listen, that's what your email inbox is for. <laughs> Is this a hard farm? No. It's it's not exciting, but it's not difficult. Once I finish this green bar at the bottom here. Um, yeah, there is fun detected. So now that we have that, I need to not let my buffs drop off. I need to refresh them every five minutes at least. Can't you ignore emails? Yes! That's why I don't have any sponsors right now. It's a lot easier to delete an email than it is to like run away from a rep from a rep. <laughs> right? One of those things requires cardio fitness. <sighs> All that I have left is for primal storms. That's on my list too. Any more fun detected? No. There it is. Now I'm scanning the names for fun detected. Now we're in business. You might not be the best person at self-promotion, which may be why I'm in the stream a lot. Because you don't like people that self-promote, or because you are concerned for my career due to lack of self-promotion, so you are... You're, you're locking down the marketing for me. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Uh, as your reason, I would like to buy a house eventually attitude, also extending to getting sponsored. In theory, yes. In practice, I think that um, it's more of... I need to get a grip on my mental health so that I feel stable enough to know that I can keep up with regular like like if you have a contractual relationship with a sponsor you need to do things like be available and take meetings and you know like be on top of your messages and stuff and I can't I don't want to commit to that if I don't feel like I'm stable enough to manage it because it's, it's bad enough to be melting down into a puddle of your own dread without being like oh no I'm breaking a contract right like um so I am, I'm trying to work on my mental health before I take on any more projects that I'm already actively engaged in. <sighs> I 
I have a thing to ask about later, though. Uh -huh. What's up, Buttercup? I mean, in the most respectful way possible. Everybody is Buttercup. Yeah, you don't need a lot of gear for this. This character is 445, which is a patch behind. You can, you're still in like a little bit of danger if you pull a huge pack all by yourself, but you can also get lots of powers that make you more sustainable. I too, what's up, Buttercup people, for respect. After I said it, I realized that it may not come across that way to everybody, and I wanted to stipulate because I don't want to be rude. Uh, Mero, thank you for the two month resub. Appreciate it. So yeah, it's not that I'm not doing anything at all, but I've been, I'm trying to focus on getting my life together. And then also, you know, if I do something like make a YouTube video or put together a merch drop or like, I don't know, update emotes or whatever, those are all things that I can do without needing to enter contracts with anybody. So, you know, it's not like there's no work that I can do until I take on sponsors. <sighs> um, giant power makes you big and slow, and I'm assuming there's something that is to your benefit or else it would be a really silly power. Managed to overlap her primal storm to cobalt area. Yeah, I've heard that's really good. Glad you're back to your home turn. Yeah, that's nice. It's real good. I think the most annoying thing about working in your mental health is that it's like work. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> If all of it was like bubble baths and nice hot cups of tea and just taking the day off to go wandering in the woods, I would be, I would have been a much better functioning person like years ago. <laughs> There's like homework and stuff. Hmm. Takes years. That's the other thing that's, that I'm having a difficult time dealing with right now is that you can do work and it can be hard and you can make progress and then you're like, what is this 1% progress garbage? I stepped out of my comfort zone and I have forfeited time and money and emotional effort. What do you mean I am still mostly the same? <laughs> you know, like you're not gonna heal overnight or even in a week or even in a month. It's like a long incremental process. But there's no there's no way around it. There's no shortcuts as far as I as far as I can tell, depending on what your goals are and, you know, <laughs> what your deal is. But that is also highly frustrating to me, is that you can you can get started and then you will make some progress, which maybe it's more progress than you've made in the last ten years, and you should probably be happy about that, but then you look at where you wish you were and you're like, ah, this is stupid. mental health with all that drinking tea, I'd be a bit offended with how much tea I get gifted. I get gifted a lot of tea as well. It's good because it's a consumable thing that you get to like try different varieties of, um, but it, it's not like clutter that stays around your, your house for the rest of your life. Took me 10 years to notice results, but it didn't work at all those years. I'd be in a worse place. Yeah, exactly. You can, you're gonna live through that time anyways, hopefully. So you may as well, you may, as, may as well be doing the work. You didn't make it, but you should still clean it up. Yeah, that's a good one. How you how you are nowadays is not necessarily your fault, but it is your responsibility. <laughs> and trying to figure out whose fault things are is not usually a wildly helpful train of thought to pursue, unless you work in a court of law, in which case that's kind of the point. Outside of, outside of, uh, court. Blame, blame doesn't take you very far. Uh, the name of the achievement is the World Awoken. And then there's a variety of, of sub-achievements done. Oh, this effect is not stacked. So as long as I have one fun detected, we are, we are all set. I think I just have maybe a slightly unrealistic vision in my head of who I would like to be, and that's making it seem like any progress that I make is much smaller, because in my in my mind, maybe I'm just ambitious. <laughs> but I feel like I could I could I don't know. 
be and do a, like a lot more which is a nice thought but maybe it's i think it's just kind of setting me up for disappointment and then when i see that i'm not getting anywhere i give up in the whole business and then i don't go anywhere it's just hard to lower your standards <laughs> it feels like giving up you could be president oh <laughs> nah -uh. absolutely not listen i'm president of my apartment more or less <laughs> Largely. I am president of my own desk. I'm president of uh, Hazelnutty Games. <laughs> Although, I prefer CEO. Kira's president, let's be honest. Democracy where the pets don't get to vote. Yeah, they get they we take referendums from them on some matters, but they uh, they have less control than I think. What was Moosey trying to do? Oh, he wanted he wanted to smell my breath after I was eating dumplings. He didn't want to eat my dumplings because he knew I would never let him get away with that. But he's like, what if while you're eating dumplings, I sit behind you, and I put one paw on each of your shoulders, and then I stick my face over your shoulder, and then I sniff your mouth while you're eating? Can I get away with that? <laughs> Back it up, Buster. <laughs> it was really cute, though. I did not let him persist with it, but it was pretty cute. He had, I'm going to brag for a second, Moose had the best walk yesterday. He was such a good boy. He was doing all of his commands. He was, uh, he was walking really nicely. He did some stuff that was, like, pretty hard for him without throwing a big fuss. And I was really, really, really proud of him. It was nice. <laughs> A bit of mouth smelling between friends. <sighs> President and founder of the Moose Fan Club. That's the truth. <laughs> I'm such a big fan. <sighs> I see him in the morning, and then I I sit down in his bed, and then I open up arms for a hug, and I go, Moosey, and then he'll he does this thing where he like prances over to you, which is fine. And then he tries to flop down in your lap, except that he kind of twists himself over, so he's putting his head down first, and he's landing on the back of his neck. But his butt will still be standing up. And he kind of curves his spine under until I'm afraid the whole thing's just going to snap like a carrot. And then he eventually, like, falls over and then and then figures himself out. But, like, he seems intent on bending his spine like a paperclip every time he sees me in the morning. And I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. <sighs> Your dog went on a good walk. That is really incredible. I sense sarcasm. I'm going to pretend that I don't. <laughs> Thank you. It was really impressive and we're very proud of him. Husky Mix does that too, it's strange movement. Pupper yoga. <sighs> How are we doing? Oh, we're only one bubble in. Uh, this last bar. I'm glad that it's the last one. Because it feels like a more reasonable thing to work on. When you are... It feels like a more reasonable thing to work on when you are... Uh, like you can see the, the remainder of what you need to do. Did I make myself big again? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Never noticed the arborworm had holes in its face. Oh. Moosey is the neighborhood, uh, neighborhood wood chipper. <laughs> he picks up sticks. And uh, and shreds them into small pieces and then spits those pieces out. <laughs> it's part of the ecosystem. <laughs> Alrighty. I can take... Let's see. Have a little look-see at how fast it goes when you're on your own. Probably not that fast. We can list up a new group. Or we can look to see if there's anything else around. If there was a different group. Yeah, there's one that was like seven minutes old. Are you sure he isn't a beaver? Blue Post hinting at another upcoming experiment. A la thunderstorm. But with a PvE focus. Oh. No, I, I don't think I've done that. I should take a look. I should check. Let's see. Am I part of this phase? No, it's all going to go away. We're going upstairs. Holly was hinting at the pandemonium thing. Like a time walking situation? Well, they have certainly been feeding us. 
definitely stuff to do. Want to collect all the dragon riding mounts? It's a small, reasonable chunk of my mount. Gold! They released the bird from Mythic. I realized I was never going to have enough money to get that. I mean, eventually, long term, it'll be one of those things that you can farm solo out of the raid. Um, but it won't be like a, a guarantee. It'll be just like an outrun at that point. I want to cook slash bake more. Have the biggest fear of failure. How can I overcome this? Hmm. I think choosing your audience is probably important. I think if you were concerned about an idea of failure with cooking and baking, that having like cooking for somebody who's gonna give you a hard time if it doesn't turn out perfectly is not a good idea. Um, so maybe cook for just yourself or for people that are understanding and excited for you to get started. And then maybe having a backup plan wouldn't hurt. <laughs> just cause um, there's nothing worse than trying to make something and then you're hungry and then it's dinner time, and then your thing just flops. Because that does happen to basically everybody when you first start learning how to cook. Uh, no, most of the time you can you can still eat whatever it is. Uh, heaven knows I do. But every once in a while something is just like actually like burned or whatever, and you're like, ugh. ugh. And it's a lot easier if you can be like, it's fine. <laughs> we can order pizza, or we have something in the freezer, or whatever. Like, you still have some, some food, right? Um... I like to think of it as with any new skill, I have... X amount of just hideous performances in me, whether that's like burned dishes or bad musical solos or boring streams or whatever it's going to be. I have X amount of just terrible show ups and you got to just do them. You got to get them out of your, your system and out of the way because that's the only way that you're going to learn. Um, so it's just a question of <laughs> getting, them, get, getting them done. Do your best. I don't know if that'll actually help or make you feel any better, but it works out for me. Uh, Holly Longdale. <laughs> uh, yeah, those types of streams are retired. I am, I am, uh, retired from baking streams. The embrace failure is something I should probably be taking, advice I should be taking more to. Not necessarily with cooking, because I can mostly put together food now, but... I don't know. I think there's a lot of YouTube videos that I end up not making because I just assume it's not good enough or it's not needed enough or it's not a unique enough idea or it's not original enough or I don't have enough to add to it or whatever. And I think I just need to lower my bar a little bit, <laughs> do my best and just put stuff out because at this point I'm, I, I need to be a little more worried with quantity than quality. The quality is good enough. It'll do. Haste. Great. Make something and they say it's good, then I find empty pizza boxes in the morning. Oh. Yeah, that's that would that would that would bum me out some. Why can't cats do dishes? I ask them to do them, they never get it done. I know how you feel. I keep asking my dog to do my taxes. <laughs> I want my dog to train my dog to bring my Amazon packages upstairs to my dad, but it hasn't happened yet. Oh. Make the content you would want to watch or find useful. The trouble with that is that I think that the content I should be watching is nothing. I think I should go outside and touch grass. <laughs> and that's not the philosophy that we need to bring to the YouTube space of everybody stop consuming so much, you know, and like go outside. That's that's not sustainable content. <laughs> Our dog does a pre-wash. Hmm. Film the grass touching. That's no, nobody needs that. That's not the thing. <sighs> My wife has a channel <laughs> operating me so she's feeling she needs to chase perfection. I do sometimes, not necessarily using that demographic example, although I do see the appeal. Um, sometimes I like to, in my mind, picture some people that I've met in the world that just have like crazy confidence. And they don't seem to really have that much to back it up. But they're so confident that they kind of make it work anyways. And I remind myself of those people whenever I feel like I'm, like I don't deserve to be somewhere. Or I don't deserve to do something. It's like, listen, this person would have just shown up with no preparation and just wung it. And, you know, <laughs> it would have been more or less fine. You've done your homework. So you're, you can be okay. <laughs> Film cats touching grass. YouTube star Maru, he has a big cat. I, the name rings a bell. 
both pivot to fishing. Mm. Moose would help eat the grass, at least the sidewalk. That is all into watching people touch grass, specifically mowing lawns. He's got my niece into it too. Oh. I would love to have some grass to to manage. A little grass, a little garden. A couple raised beds. I was joking about what if instead of buying a house, because I can't afford one. Uh, at least I can't afford a house that has land. I can afford like maybe a condo, which is kind of what we're looking at. But what if instead of that? I just buy an empty lot that has no property on like no house on it at all. It's just like a piece of land. And then I just go to that piece of land to like garden and then I fence it so my dog can run around and I just go hang out there with no indoors at all during the day. And then I go back to my other place. <laughs> and then I tell myself I'm going to build a house in that property, but I never do. I just own an empty lot. <laughs> One yard to throw the kid out to, please videos of yard care doing before and after is kind of satisfying yeah i don't think i would ever film content like that because um i have a rule about if i'm gonna film content of me outside it can't be anywhere close to where i actually live um because it's just a security thing <sighs> they have tiny houses in canada seems like your kind of thing uh it's not my thing <laughs> I appreciate the hustle. I admire the grind. I can't, I could not. Um, I would be so frustrated trying to live in a tiny house. Yeah, no, no, no manufactured home. <laughs> not, not for me. Jelly, thanks for the brand new sub, appreciate it. Yeah, my dog's, my dog is, I have a dog. <laughs> I, have, I have like a, like a big dog. This is a house for ants? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure there are tiny houses that are larger than this apartment, too. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I don't have to figure it out right now. <laughs> All I have to do right now. Oh man, I'm not even two bubbles in. This last rep level. Oh. I guess you know what it is, is we're a thousand rep in, but we've got 6,400 to do. This is what I should have saved. Oh no, I've turned the fire thing on. This is what I should have saved the. Uh, <laughs> Era's tour video for is just doing this off stream, just fire up a big old concert film or something and then just like farm this with only half of my brain. One problem though, if I one day move, I'm probably not going to live in the same neighborhood anymore because this is kind of like, you know, rentalville. And I, I don't really, I haven't really like befriended my neighbors or anything. Like I know a lot of people, but you know, we're not like sharing meals or anything. But my puppy, <laughs> my puppy's made puppy friends. And he likes all dogs, but he loves the dogs that he met when he was a baby. And if I move away from all his friends, he's not gonna see them anymore. I don't know how people like manage to move with children and their children have to make new friends at school. I'm worried about displacing my dog. Angus Hazel just got the pet, nice. Yeah, exactly, I don't know people, I know their dogs. I know a few people's names, but I know way more of the dog's names. New neighborhood, new cats and windows to find. This is true, that's a good point. Hmm. I can't think about it too much or else I end up just getting, like, obsessed. I just want to know. I want to know what, where I'm going to live, what it's going to be like. And, you know, are there trails? Are there parks? Is there beach? How far is the grocery store? How far is it to go visit my mom? What's the traffic like? I just want to know. And I can't know right now and it bothers me. 
Uh, random power. There we go. Not map as well. There we go. Moose will find you, friends. But they won't be the same. He has a special affection for the ones that he met in the first couple of months of his life. Like, he'll meet new dogs and he'll be like, oh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Moose. But, you know, when when he sees one of his friends that he played with when he was a little puppy, you'd think that, like, I don't know, like a rock concert just started. Like, he's so excited. So my mom labels her neighbors. Guy with the Jack Russell, lady with the lab. <laughs> Big brain move. Move in with your mom. Uh, my mom has less space than I do. That's not, that's not feasible. <laughs> the dream is to get a place that I can afford to have my mom move in with me. 100% kidding. Hazel watching Hazel for WoW watching Hazel for Moose updates. Recommend comfy skull cap. Want to shave my head? Start wearing wigs. Comfy skull cap. Shave head. Start wearing wigs. Um. Expand on what you mean. <laughs> I have like a like a bamboo wig cap that I use when I put on a wig to have a barrier between my head and the wig. And then I also have like hats that I just wear when I want to be like warm. Um, the wig caps that are basically just like pantyhose, those ones can be very tight, um, which is good if you're trying to like really smooth down hair. But if you're if you don't have much hair or you're not too fussed about how tightly the wig fits, um, a, a looser, stretchier, like a bamboo one might be nicer because it might be more comfortable and it would be less likely to be a factor in traction alopecia, which is where if you have um, very tight things worn in your head or you have your hair pulled back very harshly for a lot of the time, you can actually get hair loss from that. <sighs> Don't want a scratchy wig. Yeah, 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 I got a, I got a, a bamboo one. I bought it on Amazon. <laughs> it's not super tight, um, but that's what I wanted. Don't think they missed something till they see it. Remember they missed it? Hmm. Maybe. How are we doing? 6400. I guess it's going fine. Maybe what I should do is I should finish this today at some point. Just stay in a group even after I'm not streaming. I just want this part to be done. I know there are other parts to this grind that seem like they're probably going to take longer, but they'll have more, I don't know, of interest in them. This last level is brutal. It's like the same size as the rest of the levels put together or something like that, right? Like, half of the grind is the last level. Uh, yes, made of the fiber. It's a cloth thing. I can show you if you want. This is the this is this is the bamboo wig cap. So it's just like a stretchy, stretchy um, fiber that you just put on over your head or over your hair. If you had longer hair, you might want to like braid it to tuck it back behind your head or whatever. Um, because it's so stretchy and loose and comfortable, it does not fully conceal my hair. So if I'm gonna wear a wig that I want pulled back from my face, it had better be one that matches my natural hair color. Otherwise, I'm gonna have like big, floofy bits of brown hair on the sides, and then. Uh, and then like pink on top of it. Depends whether or not that's what you want. <laughs> I'm spending more time getting powers than I am getting <laughs> rep. <sighs> Add in some Dutch wooden clogs halfway to a tree and cosplay. No, no. I don't think I need to level any pets. Every time I get new pets, I mainly just buy stones for them. I have a character that I leave at the um, the mission table in Shadowlands to just kind of run missions for pet charms so that I can afford a new upgrade stone here and there. Which reminds me, I need to cycle missions on my Shadowlands person. Ah, teal deer missions. Mm -hmm. I think super
Super Squirt is a valid way of leveling pets. Even if it's not like the most efficient fight to do it on. It's like it's like telling somebody that herbalism is a scam because you can make more gold with alchemy. Um, ever gone to the store and run into anyone that knew you from streaming and did you tell them you were just visiting? Eh? <laughs> no. I haven't run into anybody that's known me um, since I moved back to Victoria. I used to know people, or like I would meet people that knew me from stream in the States every now and then. Somebody recognized me at a mall once and then um, somebody that worked at my favorite fish store, aquarium store, um, knew me as well. But uh, no one's no one's noticed me since I've been here. I, I didn't think that I would get recognized for being like famous, but I thought that I might run into somebody that I knew from like 10 years ago when I used to live here. Nope, <laughs> not a single person. Either we all look different or everybody's moved on. And it's not like I had super close friends anyways. And I haven't like gone out of my way to look anybody up because I'm not, I don't have anyone's contact info anymore. And also, I, I don't know, it's awkward. I like left. <laughs> But I, I, I thought that I would, like, run into somebody. But I've been back for more than two years now. And I have run into no one. Although, I don't think people would recognize me. I look a lot different. Like, it's been ten years. I have short hair. I have gray hair. I wear glasses. I didn't used to wear glasses. It's all different. I have not played the South Park game. No, I don't have any plans to. I wouldn't hold your breath. Mackie Moment, thank you for the 51 month we finally caught a stream live. Welcome back. Another week with Legendary. Getting bummed. Need another game to play outside of my Tuesday heroic run. Mm. Well, I've been playing the new Stardew Valley patch. Hearthstone Balcony. What else? Mainly just that. <laughs> and I also feel like I kind of need to pick one. I think one of the reasons that I'm so hung up on wanting a house in the woods is because I started playing Stardew Valley again. Playing Stardew Valley just makes me want to, like, get a hobby farm every single time. <laughs> Even though, like, it's one thing to play a game where you're planting turnips and it's another thing to, like, wake up at 4 a.m. to go milk your cows. Like, it's it's not equivalent at all. But, um, I think that the fantasy gets me every time. <sighs> um, anyone you would like to meet again? I would be curious just to see how anybody that I used to know is, like, doing these days. Like, because I don't, I'm not on social media, so I don't know any updates. Um, if there are class reunions, I don't, I'm not invited to them. Like, I'm, I'm totally out of touch and separated from everybody that I used to know. Um, so, I would just be curious to know, you know, like, I'm sure some people have, like, gotten married and had children. Some people have probably, I mean, I'm sure most of them have finished school by now and, like, gotten jobs and whatnot. I'd just be kind of curious to see how everybody's doing. Although, I think that... Curiosity is one thing, but you could very easily bum yourself out if you start comparing yourself to other people. Because either you're going to wish they had done better than they did, or you're going to wish that you have done better than you did. Mm. Last time I saw my high school classmates, they had acne, were just getting their driver's licenses. They posted the 40th reunion photos, and I couldn't recognize anyone. Yeah, in my, in my mind, all of my friends from like, like high school and then young adulthood... They're all still like 19, 20. I don't, I don't know what, I, I know I got older, but in my mind, nobody else did because I haven't seen them since then. I also really don't want to find out if anybody's died because I think that might send me into a spiral of I really shouldn't have lost touch. Although functionally, Every, we're all going to die eventually. It's just a question of when. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Should probably make new friends. <laughs> Oh, there, someone you knew in high school died? Yeah, I mean, some of them died while we were still in high school. Um, I'm sure more of them have died since then. But I wasn't really friends with 
I mean, I'm sure some people may have encountered... It's, it's possible people have encountered illnesses or accidents, but I wasn't really with the crowd of anybody that was engaging in, like, reckless behavior. Like, I didn't hang out with the people that were, like, drinking and driving or doing drugs or, you know, jumping into the canyon or anything like that, which was usually how people died at that age. I guess people die of different things as they get older. It would be fun if you made new friends and found out they were just your old friends. This is recycling. <laughs> I, like, get to know them all over again. We somehow don't remember that we knew each other. Like, it's, it's not been that long. I mean, I'm, I'm 31. I'll be 32 this year. It's not been that long since I was gone. Get rep from the Cobalt Assembly? From something else. Uh, it's from looting the... It's from looting the mobs in the farm. I went back to this main because she had some progress on, on the reputation already. She was already a couple of levels in. Um, which I think was only really about a half an hour of progress, but I decided I would rather keep that and finish the rep on this character than start it over again on my gnome. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Just a decade. Uh, humans are getting cancer younger now. Yeah, that's what I've that's what I've heard. So you kill these mobs in the in the Cobalt Assembly area, and then you loot items that grant rep from their bodies. The items automatically grant rep when you pick them up. You don't need to click on them or anything like that, but it's just from killing mobs and looting them. Yeah, these these blue like the assembly arcana are what are what's been doing it. We made it at 1500 through this last bar. I've got another hour and ten. Part of me wants to just no life this and do the entire thing today, and then part of me wants to um not do that at all. <laughs> do it in a metered and measured way, just a little bit every day. Um, it was from farming before as well. That's the only way to get the rep. There's no world quest for this rep. There's no raid rep or anything. <sighs> what would I do tomorrow if I finished this one? I would look back at the meta achievement and figure out what, what section of it I'm going for next. I think I probably am going to loot some treasures after this because I have a couple of achievements where the last thing I need to do is just loot treasures from a given zone. Um, like specific treasures that have set spawn points. So that seems like a reasonable thing to do next. I did finish the Forbidden Reach meta. I did that one for, what, the title? I think I just did that one because I was excited about it at the time. It was fun. I felt like I had done enough of it that I wanted to do Scroll Hunter. So at least that one's all done. <laughs> Pardon me. Because <laughs> I know that Scroll Hunter is one of the stickier parts of it. It wasn't that bad. People were talking smack about it back then. And they're talking smack about it again now. And it's like, it's not the most fun thing, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Once I was in a bowling alley, looked over, kept thinking I knew somebody. Someone I went to high school with. I was in my late 30s. The person remembered me as well. So you do remember faces. Mm. Oh, there's rich soil here. Should I plant it? Should I plant something? <laughs> Get in a group to hyper spawn the war crush. Mm. Mm, I see, I see. I'm getting all distracted. Do you like bowling? Not particularly. I don't think I ever showed any great skill at it. Um, the shoes smelled kind of funny. There were a lot of opportunities to drop heavy things on your fingers and or toes. And... Yeah. I did like the 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 infrared. Was it infrared? No. There's a lot of like glow light up glowy thingies. <laughs> glow in the dark stuff. But you could you could really do that anywhere.
I was chased down the streets of Portland by a woman I went to high school with. We barely knew each other, and I was like, why? <laughs> that would be scary. Had my own shoes, can't wear someone else's. Yeah. Yeah, when was the last time I went bowling? I don't think I've been bowling since, like, birthday parties. Like, teenage. Not even teenage. Tween-age birthday parties. Lots of opportunities to drop heavy things on yourself. I think I was always afraid that my fingers were going to get stuck in the holes that you put them into in the bowling ball, and then I was going to throw the bowling ball, and it was going to take my fingers with it and just, like, snap them. I thought that was, like, a real concern. I don't know why I thought my fingers were going to be so sticky. But I was worried about it, for sure. Other sports in a place you go to... Okay, hang on. i got to read this from the beginning. Akin to bowling. What other sports in a place you go to have sports? Have you tried and did you like them? Sports in a place you go to to have sports. Like a climbing gym? I, I had my brief bouldering phase two, three years ago. Was that three years ago already? When I was climbing and then my squeezers got sore. <laughs> Why bowl when you can game? It's two days, man. Yeah. Bouldering was a fun phase. I went at least... Did I go more than twice? We might have done it three times. I remember Silver Kitty was driving and he drove into the exit. But it was fine. <laughs> but I for some reason remember that still. Uh, Pup Putter Mini Golf. Mm, I must have done it at some point in my life, but I don't have any memories of it. I probably would have been small. Golf and mini golf don't strike me as as a good place for me to be. Not because I'm liable to injure myself or others, but just because I'm liable to be there forever. Like I wouldn't I just wouldn't get it into the hole and there would be like 27 people behind me being like, "What is she doing?" and I'd be like, "Sorry, oops." And then I would feel sad and I would pull over and then I would be like, "Can we just leave?" <laughs> I miss my dog. Laser quest, trampolining, ice skating? Yeah, no. Um, I went skating a couple times at school. I fell down a lot. Uh, trampolines, definitely. I think I went to a trampolining place once for a birthday party. Fell down a lot. We had a trampoline in our backyard. <laughs> fell down a lot. Uh, I don't know what Laser Quest is. Um. Yeah, I've never been like paintballing or laser tag or anything like that. Maximum number of shots a lap per hole, so you can't do that. Oh, okay. Paintball, but with lasers. Yeah, I've never, never done, never done any of that. Skydiving. That's where you fall down epically, <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, no, I think the closest thing was the the bouldering gym, which was fun. Um, but a little, I don't know. It was a little expensive. It was hard on my nails. I fell funny on my foot and it took like two years for it to heal properly because I just didn't fall down very good. And I know that's my fault, but like it's, I was still injured. And I didn't like that people tell you better ways to do it while you're doing it. I appreciate that they're trying to help. It's very kind of them. But um, I already felt self-conscious enough about being new. <laughs> I didn't really want to talk to anybody, and I didn't really want to want them watching me climb either. <sighs> it was a little, little too, little too public. Um, I was in a raid group or in a in a party. I think that an actual raid group, you would you would run into tagging issues because you have to loot the mobs. I think that if you're in a full raid group and they're just regular mobs, I think that um you would run into tagging problems where only five people can actually share loot on a given set of set of uh, NPCs. Huh. I've never done an escape room. I've been out to dinner. <laughs> I've been into a restaurant before. That's not a sport, that's food, but I just want to like shore up the examples with uh, with some time that I left my home. Love your raid guys. Oh, thanks. Take your dog sledding and you need to adopt more dogs. <laughs> I think Moosey would be great at sledding for about eight seconds and then he would be like, listen, I've got snow to eat. <laughs> See ya. 
or you just chase a bunny and you never see him again. Quality entertainment if you can get a group of people that like puzzles. Hmm. Release the Ferrat Guide, but it's just the Jailer for April Fools. <laughs> but I did release the Ferrat Guide. I'm Escape Room Mom, I just clean up after people. Aww. I would do an escape room with just one other person. Like, if I could do an escape room with Flabby, that would be fun. But as soon as there's more than two people, I think the social dynamics would would be too hard for me because I wouldn't want to speak up unless I was super confident in my idea. So I would just be standing there being like, I don't know about that idea. That idea is good. Or like if somebody like figures it out too fast, then I would feel like, well, I didn't even get a chance to think about it. Like I would just get lost and behind really quickly. And then I would just be trying to not get in the way, I think. It would need to be like a really small amount of people for me to feel like it's actually relevant for me to be there. Why leave the escape room? There are people outside. Stay in the room. <laughs> Alright, I need to find another group, but I'm going to refill my- my water's empty, so I'm gonna refill this real quick. I'm gonna go see if I can wait on the dragon. One sec. Okie dokie, thank you for your patience. One full water bottle. Stay hydrated, be victorious. We are two, no, 1,702 rep in. But you know, those are those are rep levels that we're gonna have forever. They can't take those away from me. Anybody else doing it? Cobalt, yeah. There's groups around. All right, what do we got? North side. What if Blizzard implemented escape rooms in WoW? I mean, that was kind of Sniff and Seeks, right? <laughs> Sniff and Seeks were, were escape room adjacent. They sound awful for me as an anxious person. Haven't been interested. Yeah. Not top of my list of things to do, but I think that's okay. Different people like different things. I'm not... I'm not big on experiences like that. But I like hiking. I like gardening. I like parks. I like exploring different outdoor parks. We're just hanging out in them to watch the birds. I like birds. <laughs> what if you have to communicate with and cooperate with your pug to escape the escape room? <laughs> like, like a raid? <laughs> Those are the best things to like. They're, they're not the most social things to like, unless you can have a bunch of people come with you or other people come with you. <laughs> Hiking and or to the park. And then if they're too loud, then you wouldn't be able to hear the birds. There were two northern flickers that were making the funniest sounds at each other from up in this huge oak tree yesterday. And we were walking moose. And it was like really cool. They're kind of like this really pretty sort of medium small woodpecker situation that we get around here and they make all kinds of different noises. Mm. Fun detected. There we go. Hmm. Another opportunity for me to promote rock hounding. Hiking with a hammer and a bucket. A chance to find cool rocks. Mm. I want Blizzard to put in a voice chat escape room where you have to pug that awards cute pets. <laughs> but I don't think you would like that any better than I would. <laughs> have you ever done any of the West Coast Trail? No, my sister did a big chunk of it, I think. For I remember her training for that trip when she was like a teenager. It was like a group hike that was like a multi-day thing. And I remember being very impressed and I remember thinking, no thank you, I'll stay indoors because I, I didn't really start to enjoy hiking or much of the outdoors. I mean, I enjoyed it because it was around, but um, I was definitely more of a let me stay inside and play computer games kind of kid. <laughs> Shocking. Two squirrels would have very heated arguments. Man, if I had a house that had a yard with like a tree that you could just like kick back on like a lounge chair outside and just like watch birds or squirrels or something from your yard, 
I mean, maybe it would be a problem because I would never get anything done. <laughs> it just sounds so nice. Like, if the weather's nice, it sounds lovely. You could plant different flowers out there so you could go hang out in, like, a garden and maybe at different times of day they would, they would like, open up and they would become fragrant. You could have, like, hummingbird feeders and then the hummingbirds would come by and you hear them go, vroom, vroom, and then they'd, they'd, they'd be around and then going, because they kind of click at each other and it would be the best ever. <laughs> Meet up hiking groups, do nice local hikes. Anywhere from two to six hours, mostly in the Sioux Hills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have been hiking out there. Highly recommended. Nice window. Open, nodding off to the sound of little birds chirping. Mm. BG change is interesting. Hope the quest balance changes. Ooh! Alright, I want to know what they're doing. <laughs> can I do this without falling too far behind in my farming group? Probably. Let me see if I can get another tab going on this side. Where would I find out about this? Hearthstone.com? Let's go to the official website, news. Patch notes, 29.0.3. Hearthstone, Hearthstone, Hearthstone. Show me Battlegrounds. Okay. Uh, following quests and quest rewards updates. Quests have been made easier to complete. Can no longer be paired with low requirement quest rewards. Okay. Quests have been removed from the quest pool. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Quest rewards made easier to earn, harder to earn. Oh, Sinful Medallion's getting buffed. Morose is getting buffed? Sorry, this is, uh, I'm reading some Hearthstone Battlegrounds, uh, balance changes. Felbor bumped to a tier 5? That's interesting. Tychondrius. A little bit of a... That nerf. Ah. Mm, yeah, that's cool. My problem with um, Hearthstone Battlegrounds right now is that my rating got to a point where I can only continue to climb rating if I play a lot. If I start to just play casually and play like a game every other day or so, I lose the edge and then I start like tanking and rating. Um, but I don't like have the time <laughs> when like I mostly was climbing rating on my vacation and I was able to play like quite a few games a day on, on vacation. Hmm. Hazel, it's time to uninstall WoW. Bus Simulator 21 free on Twitch. What happened to 1 through 20? Are there bus upgrades? Bus expansion packs? Wish I could stick a bird feeder in the window, not sure. Take off the screen. I would check your, um, your apartment complex rules as well. Some of them will have stipulations against feeding birds. Um, depending on whether or not they Enforce them and how important it is to you to be compliant. This one has bendy buses. Presumably a yearly release. Hmm. Supermarket simulator. Who was talking? Was it you that was talking to me about supermarket simulator? Or is it like inexplicably viral? Because <laughs> cause I'm not saying no. I thought it was on sale or something. Because, um... I can do hummingbird feeders, but not bird seed feeders at this place. And like some people do the seed feeders anyways, but you're definitely not technically supposed to because um, living in the city, there's rats and any kind of spilled bird seed is going to be a magnet for rats. <sighs> Supermarket game is viral. See multiple other streamers pick it up. <laughs> it sounds kind of fun. I used to like basic sims. I'm not putting honey in the hummingbird feeder. Don't worry. It's 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 simple syrup. It's just sugar and water. A castle full of cats. I do love castle full of cats, but I don't know if that's a good on stream game. What if other people find the cats and they're like, look, over by the by the rope, and you're like, first of all, no thank you. Second of all, what rope? <laughs> it could be a disaster. You did also injure yourself. <laughs> oh, I guess I should check before I go ahead and buy Supermarket Sim to find out if it's a... If I mean, most simulators 
I guess not. I can't speak to all of them. Most of them are not first person view, right? Pack rat named Zippy that comes by, also foxes, deer, and now a skunk. You would assume all of them are. I I always imagine that the economy simulators are mainly based in like an overhead view and a bunch of shop menus. But I should probably just look up the one in question before I speculate forever about whether or not it would or would not make me motion sick. The problem with House Flipper was the painting. Um, I was doing more or less okay until I got to the painting. Alright, I'll look it up. Pull up my handy second monitor tab. Images. What if I turn on a video and I mute it? Uh, oh yeah, it is kind of first person, isn't it? Yeah, I don't I don't think I can do that. That's no good. Power watch scratches the right brain itches. The thing for me with something like Power Watch Simulator is I could just clean my house. Mind you, I'm not like pressure washing my house. But I could just like vacuum and wipe down the counters and etc etc. Like <laughs> equally satisfying and also makes my real environment nicer. Why am I casting so far? I must have had the keybind to deal with that one affix. We doing? Oh, we got another bar. We got another bar. We're up to 2137. 2176. It's kind of sort of coming along. Boy. I really think you would enjoy Power Wash soon? Oh, probably. I think I would enjoy Factorio. Not that that's... We're just talking about games that I'm not currently playing that I would probably like. <laughs> that's the whole, uh, that's, that's the whole conversation. I need a, a factory optimization game that has, like, a nature aesthetic. <laughs> or, like, animals, cats, fish. Um, it's just that a lot of the factory games are very, understandably, they're very industrial. And I need something cute. <laughs> Natural factories of wild nature. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I tried farming sim once. Or maybe it was something else. No, I bought Ranch Simulator and it was not good. <laughs> it was not my thing. It made uh, driving the driving the um, the vehicle around, driving the ATV around made me pretty motion sick and then I had to stop. That's the problem with whenever I buy cheap Steam Sims, is a lot of them make me motion sick. Literally Timberborn. This is true. This is true. What about a BR that's like cats but with weapons? That's probably been done, eh? That sounds familiar. <laughs> Does Supermarket Simulator have a motion sickness mode? Let me see. Let's Google that. Mm, you can turn off head and camera, Bob. Most first person games get nauseated. Fun game, but I get motion sickness from this game. Same with games like House Flipper. Okay. Yeah, people do get motion sickness from it. 
No more supermarket sim until they fix the motion sickness. Yeah. Does not look promising. <laughs> If I made a supermarket, it would be dimly lit with excessive signage. If I made a supermarket in real life, what would the dream be? I would want... wide aisles so that people can get by each other and not feel crowded when they're making their choices. I understand the desire to fit a lot of merchandise into a small area, but I really don't like supermarkets that are super claustrophobic, that are like one-way traffic down an aisle, except that there's no designated... Um, path so that like people end up you know like I hate it when the, the flow through the store sucks <sighs> we tried the game called Stray about the cat yeah I, I, I bought it and I tried it on Steam but it, or on stream we streamed it I didn't end up liking it and I returned it it wasn't really my game I refuse to go to the grocery store. Walmart delivery is where it's at. Grocery delivery just... I, I, I'm i sure it existed before before the pandemic, but the pandemic made me try it out and made me realize that it is accessible and cheaper and a much easier time investment than, um, than going to the store yourself. The trouble is if you have specific things that you don't want substituted. Um, I find that depending on who you're shopping with and sometimes if you if you order groceries you have to be kind of chill with them swapping things out and if you had like allergies um it could be a problem every now and then they swap me out for a meat product and then i have to just like <laughs> donate it uh, or rehome it to like a friend or family member or neighbor or something like that but for the most part i end up with what i ordered it's usually it just takes so long to go to the store and it takes so much out of me that i am i'm usually an order order groceries online kind of thing too the Great Bean Disaster 2023, yeah. Yeah, I like shopping if it's quiet in the store and I don't feel rushed to make my choices. But if it's busy, it's the whole thing is just a recipe for panic. It's it's no good at all. I hate being in the way. I hate being rushed. I, I don't like, like I'll just give up on things because I'll just be too panicked to find it whenever the store is busy. How are we doing? It is 11.18. We are uh, coming up on, well, not really halfway. Getting closer to halfway through the last bar. I think Cobalt's making me sleepy. Born of the Northern Sea, thank you for the 35 month resub. Hey Hazel, my fiance and I love your Saturday show. Thanks for the plunder info. Aw, oh, cheers. Right storm is up, tie in, here I come. Congrats, kids. That's exciting. Shopping with a friend, like a guard dog, keeps things steady. In uh, When I lived in Oregon, I used to live not too far from a grocery store that wasn't open 24 hours, but they were open until midnight. And I would sometimes go do my shopping at like 11 p.m. because the store was generally pretty empty. There would be more people stocking things, but um, it was generally fairly, fairly chill, and that was nice if I was up that late anyways. Is there another rep upgrade? Here, I'll, I'll go pop back by the camp to take another look. Allergic to potatoes, so much stuff has potato starch in it. Mm. Shop early in the morning, only like five old ladies in the store. Good idea. There's the flight path over here. You'll find nothing better than blood. So yeah, we can just research both of these. These are like, that one's basically free. It's just, <laughs> fireworks, there is absolutely no combat benefit to this. 
30% chance when you enter combat to create fireworks based in your faction. That's funny. Unhelpful fireworks and then arcane instability. Sure. I don't want to be lead. I'm out to lead. <laughs> Give it to someone else. Yeah, I finished the plunder grind. All done. We got the last of it. The last, the last one yesterday. I also need to check out, actually, while I'm doing this, if I'm busy looking stuff up on my second monitor, I should also check out um, that news thing where they were hinting at a PvE thing. Holly Longdale and World of Warcraft's future. Let's release, let's read the statement. The original. Greetings, citizens of Azeroth. Great seeing so many players take the plunge into Plunderstorm. We've loved seeing all the stories and feedback as this experimental event evolves. So I need to see people going head to head, duos, plunders from Creator Royale, March 30th, very good. This isn't the end of things we want to try in World of Warcraft, however, and we have more in store we cannot wait to show you. Season 4 is en route, testing begins in the PTR, and we'll have more news to share soon on the next experiment we have up our sleeves. We hope those of you who are looking for PvE focused content We'll enjoy what we're planning, all while we continue to press forward on development of our next expansion we're within. Can't wait to share with you all the many things Team's been hard at work on. Well, that's nice. Doesn't really tell us anything, but it's nice. I guess it tells us that there's another secret thing coming. Thirty now, can't wait to be done. The buffs, uh, the buffs that they've been putting in, definitely should be helping. What is this meta achievement? There is an expansion arcing meta achievement for Dragonflight called A World Awoken. And doing all of it gets you an enormous dog mount. So I'm working on cleaning up various things that I have missed out or not finished throughout the expansion so that I can get closer to that. I've got a good chunk of stuff to work on, but we're chipping away at it every day. doing green arrowed hello not hoping it's a pve grind that pvp are supposed to go through uh, i mean i think that if you were a player that only played pvp in wow and you didn't ever pve you probably would not necessarily be a completionist collector because of how limited the things that you would be able to collect without ever pve would have been in the first place so they probably wouldn't feel forced into it because cosmetics wouldn't feel as mandatory. Theoretically. I'm not saying that PvPers don't collect, but the PvPers that do collect probably also to some extent PvE in service of that collecting. <laughs> How old is too old to become a WoW PvP player? Um, if you're dead, you will have problems with your motor skills. If you are deceased, the grave worms get in the way. If uh, you are alive, heartbeat, bump, bump, you're good. <laughs> I don't think you're ever too old. <laughs> I'm in. The thing I've always liked about PvP in any game with PvP is that no matter how quote unquote bad you are or how new you are or how uncoordinated you feel, there are other human beings on the planet that also want to play the game that are just as bad as you, and if MMR systems do their job, if matchmaking systems do their job, you will, at some point, be in lobbies with all of those same people that are just as bad as you, and you should be able to win some of your games and get some of that joy that comes from when you kill somebody in a video game. It's fun. That's why people do it. Um, the problem is doing placement games to get to that point, especially if you feel very behind. It's a game that lots of people have been playing for a long time. You feel like you're very behind the knowledge curve. That's frustrating. Um, and I think that's what happened with a lot of people in Plunderstorm. <laughs> certainly happened with me at the very beginning. But uh, the thing that always gives me hope is that nothing says you have to be good to play. You don't even have to be good to win. You just have to be good to get rating, which is not a requirement for having fun in a game, you know. 
not everybody can play Olympics level hockey, but that doesn't mean that people don't. Hockey's a bad example. You need like a lot of equipment, but like just because you're not world class at a sport doesn't mean that you should play for fun. 43% vicious net, starting to lose. Plunder grind is way easier. Yeah, I like that with the plunder grind, even when you were losing, you were still um, you were still getting progress, generally speaking. It was a fairly rare game where you would get functionally no progress for me after a certain point, after I got the hang of the initial layout of the game. That's a stressful health bar, right? <laughs> I've been kind of like working through, I kind of, I've lost my friends. I've been working through all of, oh, there we go. Well, we got a thing that will pick us up anyway. I was working through the uh, the various self heals I had, my Verdant Embrace and my Renewing Blaze and etc. 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 Let's get Fun Detected back. Do I have any um consumables that I want to use? I think I got rid of them all. What is your favorite hockey team? I think I am contractually obligated by virtue of living here to say go connects. <laughs> I think I might be in danger if I don't. I don't I I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big sports fan though. I don't really follow any organized sports teams in any of the sports. I usually count myself pretty lucky if I can identify which sport a given team is from, and I can only do that with about a 30% success rate. <laughs> and that's for like the famous ones. Uh, yeah, I use split bags. I have them set um, with the in-game interface. This one's consumes, that one's junk, this one is trade goods, um, another one is gear, so the auto sort um, takes care of them generally. In classic, I use a combined bag, but that's just because classic bags are stressful. <laughs> Go connects is the right answer. Hmm. Generally speaking, my approach to sports games is um, I'm not too worried about who wins, but I hope they're all having fun. And I've come to understand that is not the correct <laughs> spirit, generally speaking. <laughs> ah, thanks, Alana. Go Penguins. <laughs> uh, how do I re-love retail? I don't know if it's possible to force yourself to love anything, really. You can you could play it and you could see if it grows on you as you get more engaged with it. I find I'm usually more motivated to play retail when I've kind of gotten to grips with what's going on in it and I've come to figure out some goals that sound fun for me. But if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. Life's too short to spend your free time playing games that you don't like. Maybe it's just time to move on. Make Plunder Storm a survival game. Do you make quest? Tag pieces of hay dragon to the store and pick up all the loot before others do. That's a good idea. Hazel, what's for lunch? Um, what do I have? What do I want? Food's hard recently. I kind of want a peanut butter and jam sandwich. I think I can do that. I need to make another loaf of bread. I'm gonna maybe put a, a loaf of rye bread together in the bread machine sometime soon. I also have some really nice granola. I bought the fancy granola because it was on sale. And then I got some yogurt to go with it. And I have some fresh raspberries. It's pretty good. How's the sourdough project going? It's pretty good. It's good. She's uh she's functional. She's it's basically the same the same kind of situation I had back when I had an active sourdough starter. I keep it in the fridge. I pull it out and feed it whenever I'm ready to make bread again. I've just been using the bread machine to do the to do the bread. I should probably use the bread machine to do the dough. 
and then shape the loaf by hand and prove it overnight and then bake it in the oven. Because the one thing is that my bread machine doesn't seem to bake. It doesn't quite do a, it doesn't bake it well enough. Um, and when it does, it gets really crusty. And I, I like a good crusty loaf of bread, but I want to try and make it in the oven again. <laughs> Did you name her? Her name was Elise. <laughs> and then I realized other people had like goofier names for their starter. And then I started to feel like mine wasn't whimsical enough. I wanted to make a pesto bread. I had a recipe for like a pesto bread. And I have pesto frozen in the freezer that I made a long time ago. Bread maker and imported one? I mean, it was probably made in China, but most things are. It's just a Cuisinart, I think. Starting a new character in retail, but feel anxious about how much there is to do. Because I want to finish it all. Mm. Yeah, that can be hard. I definitely do better when I'm focusing on like one thing at a time and then not worrying about the rest of it. What time is it? It's only 11.30. We've got more time. Okay, no, not exploding map. <laughs> no exploding map. We have fun detected. We're good there. Oh, uh, it would be 110 volt. It would be, you can't, you would need weird funky adapters to make a 220 work here. Um, all of your locally available appliances will be, will be in a set. I'm not too picky with bread machines. It has a very simple job. It needs to be able to hold and maintain a temperature. It needs to be able to turn a motor and it needs to be able to do those things on timers. That's basically it. Um, I've had cheap ones that did the job just fine as long as the motor doesn't give out. And I'm, it's, it's not a complicated job. I don't feel like the bells and whistles are super important. If I had a lot of money and I was trying to get it again from scratch, I would probably look into a Zoji Rushi one, but that's just because I really like my Zoji Rushi rice maker. <laughs> so I believe. Um. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Arcane equalizer? Okay. Bread machine, what a future we live in. That's why I thought it wouldn't break your bread. No, 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 no. It's just, um, it bakes all, it's because the recipe I'm using isn't for a bread machine and it's a little bit too dense and it needs just like a really hot, really hot oven to do it properly. Had a pesto mozzarella pasta last week. Well, that sounds pretty good. Oh, are we halfway there? No, not quite. <laughs> We're close to halfway there. <sighs> uh, I do, I did get a KitchenAid stand mixer again, yeah. It's pretty. Um, I don't use it to make bread. I didn't get the one that is, I didn't get like a bread making rated one. I just got like a standard mixing one. I also don't use it very much. I should. I think when I first got it, I thought I was going to be like a cookie making maven. And, uh, and then it turns out, like, I also got a cookie scoop that was like one of those things that you squeeze to like eject a perfectly sized spoonful of cookie dough onto a pan. Like I was all ready to become a cookie manufacturing ho household. And then I just stopped eating cookies. <laughs> I need the cobalt assembly rep for the, um, I need the cobalt assembly rep for the meta achievement for the World Awoken meta achievement. It's the only rep that I didn't finish this expansion. We can take the cookies you don't eat. You can't though. I am not authorized to distribute food or drugs. This business is not rated for that kind of thing. I just dumped them on my sister. <laughs> just bring them to her place. Really? Here's a cake. See you later. 
Are you surprised they didn't put the new Azerothian Archives rep on the meta? I don't know if I'd actually noticed that, actually. <laughs> now that you mention it, I don't know if that if that occurred to me. I was more busy looking through the things that they had. I didn't really do a... I didn't really um, do an inventory. <laughs> Keep buying things you talk about on stream. I feel like you should be able to harness that somehow. Oh, I should talk about fewer products. Goodness. Haven't even touched those. I finished my um, I finished my rep recently with them, and I I haven't been back to like the old vendor to see if they're gonna give me anything, but I have a feeling they're not. I got the achievement for having done the for having finished the Azerothian rep, but that's about it. Family love the iron flask cups. You have six of them. <laughs> Been from watching your stream forever ago. I just got a bunch of stickers to put on my smaller one because I I had put some fish stickers on it previously, but I hadn't bought waterproof ones, so they had like gotten wet and then because you know I took it fishing and they would get wet and then uh, they became a big mess. So I finally uh, scraped all that off and then got some new stickers. And I don't know if I like it, but I've kind of committed to the bit at this point, so <laughs> I'm plastering it with, with different stickers and I'm just going to live with it like that. I got like foresty ones of, there's like owls and birds and deer and that kind of thing. It's cute. I don't know, right now, if I was going to make another WoW YouTube video, I don't know what my next one is, aside from just like the normal news video that I'm going to do tomorrow. I thought about maybe putting together something regarding the meta achievement, but it's a really big achievement. So if you were going to go through all of the sub achievements and collate tips for them, it would be really long. It's one of those things that would be like a huge pro product project that would be for like kind of a not that big audience. You want to find something a little more wide reaching, but what? <laughs> My Plunder Storm is really a BBE mode. Oh man. We just do meta commentary about how why gaming is falling apart and we should all go just uh, play with um, calculators. <laughs> Hello friends. Hi Spencer, how you doing? Useful to focus on the ones that are daily weekly that you need to unlock for efficiency. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've been meaning to sort that out just for myself. The you could you could group them into time gates versus grinds versus RNG. Cranius's big blue dress. Wow, animation. Oh, um, no, I'm not really a machinima creator. That's a different skill set. That's a that's a pretty wildly different skill set. I'm also not much of a musician. Do a whole video on wizard duck. What if we need to innovate a new category in WoW YouTube video, you know? Forget the tips and the guys. <laughs> Forget the songs and the dances. We do slam poetry as told by a wizard duck. Not that I'm really much of a poet. Uh, do I play any of the classic versions of WoW? I did a little bit of hardcore WoW. I liked hardcore classic. That was the one that I played the most. I got a warlock to 40 in original hardcore classic. Um, and then I got... Sorry, one moment. And then I did a, a hunter and to, to to twenty in self found. I kind of ran out of steam with self found though. Were you going to run all the dragonflight raids for season four? Have you got the entire set done for all three now? There's going. Have you got the entire set done for all three now? I believe so. Um, like I've got the achievements for for a World Awoken. I have the achievements for having completed all of the raids when they came out. If that was the question, there's no better poet than Professor Petricide. 
Any other games outside WoW, Hearthstone, BGs? I picked up Stardew Valley again to play through the new Meadows Farm with patch 1.6 that's come out for PC. I'm excited about that. Oh, videos so we know what we are doing. Oh, yes, yes, there is a complete set of raid guides for all three raids. Yes, sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, now that the Ferrat guide is out, that was the only one that was missing. Am I going to be rich in a vendor all this? <laughs> Probably not. Um, I, th I don't know if they can be done in LFR. I think so, but I would have to look up the individual achievements. I think Plunderstorm would work great as a standalone game mode on Steam. Good way to entice new players into WoW. I don't know if it would... Plunder... I like Plunderstorm, and I think it's fun. I don't really think... Aside... I mean, obviously the aesthetics and the map and the characters and stuff, but it doesn't really have anything to do with WoW. I feel like Plunderstorm has as much to do with WoW as Hearthstone does. Um, it shares, it shares like, characters, but... And then obviously you earn rewards that are available in WoW, but it just feels like a different game. I've heard people make arguments that they think that they're testing the waters to have Plunderstorm as a mobile game, but I don't really see how the controls would work well on mobile. I feel like it would be hard to steer and aim and move your character accurately in a mode like that without at least a controller, if not a keyboard. Yeah, I think it would work fine with a controller. But I don't know about a phone. I think people just saw like the five big buttons and they figured that was the requirement for a mobile game. <laughs> we don't all have phones, there's that too. But I also know that there are mobile games that are like that, like BRs basically, and they, they work somehow, so maybe I'm being too close-minded. See, now that I'm curious as to what the next thing they have up their sleeves is, what experimental PvE content are they gonna do? Is it gonna be inside of the game this time? Is it going to be a different mini game from the launcher? What if, what if WoW is eventually just one option on an, on a wider game launcher? WoW 2D platform. I want a dating sim. <laughs> a Blizzard, a fully polished, well-realized, Blizzard-created dating sim. Oh man, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I am doing a poor job at this. I need to find something to kill. Those things are dead. I got that already. It was Lover Watch. Have you been to Goldshire? Mm. I don't know if that's if dating is what they're simulating there. <laughs> Expand half hill, we get a fleshed out WoW themed Stardew. I don't know, I think WoW's too corporate to do Stardew. I think the thing that I like about Stardew the most is the, <laughs> the messaging. Alright, we got mastery. Or at least. Yeah, we're halfway there now. We have less than less than half of the last bar remaining. And we've made it this far in about three, a little under three hours. So I would assume that I have probably about an hour of farming left to go. I might try to finish this off stream. I hope that won't offend anybody too much. I feel like I'd rather stream something else tomorrow. Because I have, um, let's see. For Storm Chaser, we definitely need to just kill a bunch of mobs but I can do that on my priest. For closing time, 
I need I need to do time rifts for this lock and load achievement. It's firing different weapons found in them. I need to look that look that achievement up to see if there's any like tips to it. I wonder if it just is kind of random, like you need different time rift invasions in order to get access to it. Did I make myself big again? I made myself big again. <laughs> I didn't want to get big. Would you like if plunder rewards are the same each season, just recolors? Prefer they do new themes. I would like new themes. I want, if they're going to do more seasons, I want new themes and new maps. Um, although I do think that with the name Plunderstorm, they have kind of locked themselves in a tiny bit to the pirate branding. <laughs> you could stream Donut County tomorrow. Pray tell what is Donut County? dangerous to be talking about donuts this close to lunchtime. It's a game about... I like the aesthetic and soundtrack. Very chill. Super cute story game where you make everything fall into a sinkhole. <laughs> getting pretty close to the amount of <laughs> I've been in groups this whole time and I'm sure being in groups has helped especially when there's like things that you can loot and hopefully I've also been killing things that other people can loot and I'm not just an absolute leech but <laughs> I feel like I never ever have track of anything anywhere any of my group members are and whenever I do I show up and everything's already dead I don't feel like I'm helping very much but it's, I would probably be a lot slower if I was trying to do this on my own Played Donut County as an amazing lo-fi soundtrack. I think I'm set for games for the moment. Especially if I'm gonna actually like replay Stardew. Stardew is not a game that you replay in an hour. Oh no, not the fire! <laughs> I need a weak aura that like lets me blacklist powers so that I can cross them out with like a big red X so that I don't click on the ones that I know I don't like. Rep Pelton seem fun to play? How much besides this rep, how much stuff on the checklist? A fair few things. Um, I am missing a good chunk of the Across the Isles achievement. And some of those achievements are like really close. Like the only thing I'm missing for the Tuscar meta is like three treasures in the Azure Span. And then some of them are pretty far, like for Wake Me Up and the Dragon Scale Expedition, I have four achievements left. Although that seems reasonable. That seems like I could just do it. <laughs> I should probably take a look at um, going back. Oh, well, I only have 200 supplies. Yeah, I, I wasn't planning a Variety Friday comeback. We've just had a lot of people talking about other games. I was planning on working on my meta achievement. I've got so many things to do, and if I don't do it on stream, then I'm in trouble. Because they're going to be coming out with Season 4 at some point, and I'll have to do some stuff for that. And then, you know, once we get War Within in development, there's going to be stuff for that. Stardew Valley stream. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to let anybody into my Stardew Valley Valley life. That's my that's my secret happy place. My 
imaginary happy place is pretty cool because there's no one else allowed in it. But I haven't really gotten around to furnishing it or adding a whole lot of detail to it because I usually go there when I'm like falling asleep. And at nighttime, I'm usually like really tired. So I usually fall asleep before I get very far in decorating said happy place. So it doesn't really have a whole lot of features yet. <laughs> I did finish Thunder yet. Storm Chaser worth doing sooner rather than later. Eldrazis and Arn Plain Storm's hard to get. Yeah, I should probably not put that off for too long. There's just so many things that it feels like I could do pretty quickly. Like, that wouldn't wouldn't be that big of a deal just to kind of finish off areas of the achievement. I kind of want to, like, tie up a lot of loose ends. Eon's Fringe, Welp Daycare, or Dailies? I did Welp Daycare, but I think I need to do Eon's Fringe. Not closing time. Do, do, do. Ah. <laughs> Not the song. I also need treasures. Is there like caverns for that one? It's cool that there's mounds that we're pretty close to. Keep the Wildhood front page up so I can see what storm is active. There's an hour gap between storms. Mm. Slow compared to the ones I did in the Waking Shore and the Unarn Plains. Yeah, I'll have to do that eventually. Hard to pick one to work on, stick with it. This, at least, for all of its flaws, is a pretty straightforward farm. Not... Not not much to be doing right or wrong. I mean, I guess you could wait for a storm to be overlapping with this area so there's more mobs to kill. But, uh... Wouldn't it also empower them to make them harder to kill? I don't know. One away from fringe benefits. Fringe benefits. Let me see. Oh, I should be doing dailies. Although, I betcha I've done some of those on my priest, because by the time I discovered the Eon's Fringe dailies, I was already working on it on my priest and not so much on my evoker. So, my priest clearly hasn't finished this, but she might have some progress. There might be something going on there. Oh, it's not retroactive. Oh, gross. And they just, I'm, gu I'm guessing they just patched that one in then. All right. That's stinky. <laughs> stinky is right. I let my puppy out on my balcony to like kind of see the planters because I thought he was curious about them. And I think he was, and he sniffed the plants. He likes smelling flowers, and that's all fine and good. But then, he took a big mouthful of potting soil. And was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. like, what are you, do? why are you eating dirt? Drop it! And then he, like, spits it out, and just chunks of dirt fall out of his mouth back onto the patio. And I'm like, the balcony, I'm like, buddy, why? <laughs> For what? I get it when he eats mud at the park because I think they must use some kind of like fish oil fertilizer or something because a lot of dogs eat mud at the park. But especially if somebody's like dressed their garden with topsoil, he has done this before. So it's not like a, he's just trying it once to find out. He, he <laughs> dog wants to eat dirt. Oh, no dirt treats for you. No more balcony time. Yeah. He also um, grabbed one of my little maple trees because um, I think he thought it was a stick and then he was trying to break it. So he didn't break it, but no more free sticks from <laughs> mom's ornamental t trees and shrubs. <sighs> I remember when he was younger and he got a chance I, he got to, he got to poke around it there when we first brought him home. <laughs> and my fig, my fig trees were, were leafing at the time. And he just takes a big bite of fig leaf. Just, just big old moose-shaped mouth bite out of it. Uh, this is the last rep level, yeah. Once I'm done, once this bar is filled, it'll be completely done. I don't think I'm gonna finish it today though. We're almost we're almost out of time. 
Yeah, we're pretty close. <sighs> the last one's the longest one, though. It's 6,400 rep for the last level. Whereas, like, the first rep level is, like, 300 rep, and then the next one is, like, 600 rep. They're, they're much faster earlier. Anyone else keep trying to run over mobs to loot them? <laughs> hmm. It's gonna feel weird to play Season 4. I haven't- it just seems like it's been a long time since- I know we were like doing the raid for a while, we were continuing to farm for Rack for quite some time because people still needed legendaries, but outside of that I hadn't really done a whole lot of retail WoW like endgame content in a hot minute. I guess we did some vicious net farming. But even that must have been more than a month ago. Like, it's been some time. It's funny that with these powers, there are wrong answers. buffs up to do this kind of a pull without getting into trouble. Oh, there's other people here now too, that's good. Now you get to run season one keys on your real main. I guess so. I don't... I don't know. I'm not that excited about it. I feel like I've done those dungeons already. I don't really want to do another season in them. I'll do enough to get the Keystone Master mount, but I'm not going for portals again. I also don't know what kind of... I don't... with the way they're reworking dungeons, I don't know how the... how hard it's going to be to get the mount. I'm assuming not, not too bad. But once I'm done that, I think I'm going to be out pretty early, especially if there's like War Within Alpha going on and there's other stuff to be looking at. But maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe I'll have a lot of fun. It has been a long time since I've done them. They've definitely had time to cool down. Maybe it's like when you think you're not ready to rewatch a movie yet, but then you try it and you're like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is fun again. Well, my advice for Cobalt Assembly is definitely do it sooner rather than later if you need to do it, because it's going to be a heck of a lot easier with farm groups up and other people to help you uh, chunk through packs of mobs and whatnot. That's the, that's the big takeaway. I procrastinated a little bit, but I'm glad I didn't procrastinate more than I did. <laughs> the fireworks are actually kind of fun. I kind of like those. Power that ups your rep gain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you, you want to get at least one fun detected up. It doesn't stack, and you can refresh it with a refreshing, so that's pretty reasonable. But that is a good tip, for sure. Oh, rich soil. Plant flower. Excited for season one since I didn't do portals in season one or two? Mm. Season four, yeah. There'll be stuff to do. I think I'll have fun if I'm just organized. I think the, the biggest danger I have with the new WoW season is that I just feel so like messy and chaotic and all over the place that I don't want to look at any of it. Uh, I just need to get organized about what I want and how I'm going to get it, and then it'll be fine. It'll be fun. Nothing can't be made more fun with like a nice spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, powers make a pretty big difference. Which raid was your favorite? Looking forward to Vault again. Hmm. Recency bias says a Mirga cell. 
I liked some of the fights in Vault a lot, and then some of the fights I never want to see again. I could do without Dathia and Diurna again, but I liked Senarth and the early fights. Um, what about Abarus? What do I remember about Abarus? Abarus had some cool stuff. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> Which ones were fun? I feel like Amir Drasil is fun. All three raids, I felt like they did a really good job of making them fairly reasonable to understand and learn. They like they were cool fights, and some of them were challenging, but they weren't wildly complicated. Um, they've done a better job of making them easily visually parsable. Like you can just kind of look at it and have a good guess as to what's going on without needing to know a bunch of, like, inside info. I do not miss the Frost Spider Vault and Boss and Vault. I want to know what the raids are going to be like in the War Within. But it is approximately noon o'clock. And I am going to wrap up for the day. I have another three and a half bars of this. If I'm finished before stream tomorrow, maybe I'll get it like most of the way and then I'll leave like a like a couple of mobs for the for the photo finish. Rest to do on stream. This does take a while. Although it's not really that long in the grand scheme of things compared to a lot of rep grinds. I'm sure I spent way longer like fishing for the Tuscar or doing dailies and world quests for Loam or whatever. It's just uh, I don't know. I don't know why this one feels longer. But thank you for joining me. I appreciate the company. I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday morning stream. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.